All right, Shalom, Shalom. Man, we just got so much to talk about. Ooh. Hey, uh, first and foremost, call hello. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechakodash. Double honors to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone that do group well. Peace and salutations to the Lord's elect, the hopeful elect in one third. The Wadi Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechakodash. For putting on our spirit to come out to the highways and hedges. Uh, be moved through the Holy Spirit uh, to prophesy the downfall of this wicked queendom, all right, uh, which in the Bible is known as Babylon the Great. All right, we are in Babylon the Great, okay, and all eyes are on Babylon right now, you know. And um, if you didn't know, we are the, the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and those scattered abroad according to the diaspora, and uh, we're just waiting. We're ultimately waiting to be delivered. We're waiting for our Savior, and we now are seeing all the signs that are leading up to his return. Okay, we're just uh, a few days away from uh, the next presidential election, which either way, either uh, body that gets put in that office is going to lead to prophecy. Okay, so I see prophecy winning the election. And right now is the most beautiful time to uh, take advantage of the wisdom that's crying out because years ago, what we know didn't seem so beneficial. But now the knowledge that we've been given, all right, now it, it seems very beneficial to the bearer of that knowledge because nobody knows what's going on. Everyone out here is just off or they're avoiding or they have no idea. What we got, brother? Yep. Jeremiah 28 and verse seven. Nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in thine ears and in the ears of all the people. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. Yeah, we could just focus right there. So now, the immediately what comes to mind is uh, Daniel. He had the vision of the many uh, countries or empires. You see? So now what empire are we in? Because I was watching this show called uh, Designated Survivor. And in the show, the, the political term Designated Survivor means uh, one of the last persons in the presidential line to be the next president if a situation were to happen to Babylon. But in this show, uh, the woman, what she said, she told the Edomite, she said, now it's time to, what's up, brother? She said, now it's time to take the empire back. See? So that's what Esau, and Esau won't admit that this is an empire. This yeah. is an empire, okay? Yeah. This is the Roman Empire. We're in Rome all over again, and Jake's in the same position. Right. The only thing that changed was the language and the and, and the attire. Right, right. Isn't the uh, the Empire State New York? Yeah. The Empire State. Yeah. Yep. Empire uh, State Building. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, uh, George Washington, if I'm not mistaken, called it um, uh, the Empire or something like that. Mm. See? And it <clears> says, <throat> uh, Jeremiah 28 and verse 8. It says the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old, right? Because that, that's why it said the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So the men that were, you know, back in the ancient time prophesying, you know, against many countries and kingdoms of war are back uh, back here today in their same lot, right? And when they're prophesizing, they were also uh, either um, warning of of of, of an empire or country coming on to them, or while they were in an empire. See? So you had prophets condemning empires to their face mm. remember when he told uh belchazar are you gonna hey you about to be tooken bro right. so the prophets were always telling the people uh the message that's why samuel has said um can you grab that real quick for samuel 16. and shalom you have bashim al shai bashim kakwadash to the body of believers the beloved brothers and a few sincere sisters we're all waiting to return and be the first fruit the first generation uh, uh, of Yasharala, which will be forever. So we say Shalom to you, our, our fellow uh, hopeful elect, fellow first generational uh, Israelites, because we all gonna be in the kingdom together, brothers and you few sisters. This is uh, the book of First Samuel, chapter sixteen. I guess we you want to start at one. Yes, yeah, start at one. Uh, first Samuel sixteen and verse one, and the Lord said unto Samuel. How long wilt thou mourn for Saul, 
seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel. Oh, look, see the water, bro. Simeon tribe warrior George Washington in a 1785 letter to James Duane, New York City mayor, called New York the seat of the empire. The water, bro. Because I knew it was something, but we have so much information that we're constantly scanning and going over. You know, this is, this is truly in Daniel when it said uh, knowledge shall be increased. Yeah. Like we're truly getting downloads. Like remember when uh, he said, uh, I know Kung Fu. Yeah. You know, but like that's the, the spirit you'll have. A, you'll just have this heavy push on you. Like lately I've been going uh, a lot into um, in the forehead mm -hmm. or surrounding the number of the man, which is triple sixes, you know, but that's because that's us being inspired by the Rakakwa Dash because we're being used to push a message before prophecy takes place. Right. You got it, brother? Yep. Mm. And it says, mm. seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel, fill thine horn with oil and go. So now we're also in a time where the Lord is showcasing who he's dealing with, who you should be listening to, who you should follow, okay? There's a different vibration that's taking place um, uh, at these Israelite camps, at the altar. Because each uh, Israelite camp is an altar, but that doesn't mean it's a, a holy altar. Right. You know, because a lot of the, the Israelites now that you're seeing, they're showcasing you uh, to come in through sensationalism. That should, that should scare you. You know, it's like Esau trying to sell you something. Like um, Billy, Billy May, whatever his name is. Remember the 1-800 number? Yeah, yeah, Billy, and he's, oh, yeah, Billy May. I, I can fix it. Yeah, yeah. He just slaps his, like he's yep. selling you. Yeah. We're not here selling you. We're telling you. Right. And we're not uh, charging you. Right. You know, we're giving to you freely. Right. But what I've noticed is there's a different vibration at these altars while we're out teaching. You know, I just seen a video. I'm not going to name names, but they po posted a video of them macing an Edomite. Like that's, you're not sitting down and go going into the scriptures for the sheep. Right. You're feeding them Jerry Springer, you know? Such, we're, read that when we had. Yep. First Samuel 16, and, uh, verse 1, and it says, <clears throat> Fill that. You want some water? I got the water. Okay. It's, it's just Satan's the flesh. It says, Fill that. I'll be straight all week. Right. You straight just like 30 minutes I was, ago. I was fine literally 30 minutes ago. It's, it's all said, good. We're going to keep fighting. Right. First Samuel 16 and 1, it says, Fill thine horn with oil and go. Yep. I, I, uh, I will send thee to Jesse. First, first John 2. I've given you uh, umption from the Holy One, right? And you've been anointed to know all things. It's okay, we quoted it, brother. I know you're holding a lot. No, 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 no. Okay, I was keeping it. Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, and it says, "I will send thee to Jesse the Bethlehemite, mm -hmm. for I have provided me a king among his sons." But that Bethlehemite is still an Israelite, see? But he was called a Beth Bethlehemite, right? Job from the land of Uz. But right. it, that doesn't change where he's at doesn't always necessarily make up his nationality. Right. Let's keep going. It says, verse 2, And Samuel said, How can I go if Saul hear it? He will kill me. Because he's still the king at the time. Right. So like right now, you still have wicked kings over our people. Yeah. Okay? General Johanna is a wicked king. Uh, Bishop Nathaniel, false prophet, and a wicked king. Okay? De uh, deacon, priest, Haka is a, a wicked scribe. All right? Because uh, scribes, were known as uh, men that modeled themselves after the letter of the law and meticulously writing it, uh -huh. presenting it, and being hired to read it. Uh -huh. See? So he's a he's a wicked scribe uh, putting himself in the office of a Sadducee too. Because oh, wow. Sadducees were known as notable people amongst Israel. Uh -huh. So this is why we are seeing is Israel is on, on YouTube. Israel is on Instagram. Israel is on um, Facebook. So this is why there's in particular men that have a higher notoriety or quote unquote status amongst the people because we have citizens and uh, self-proclaimed leaders. But now the Lord's making a separation. Now the Lord's letting you know he's no longer king over you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to anoint and this king that now I give you, I'm going to establish a house for that king that will be forever. Keep going. And it says, verse 2. And the Lord said, take an heifer with thee and say, I am come to sacrifice to the Lord and call Jesse to the sacrifice and, and will show thee what thou shalt do. So the sacrifice covered Samuel the priest. Yeah. 
See that? And what's the sacrifice that covers us now? Yahweh Shai. A little more. And it says, and thou shalt anoint unto me him whom my name unto thee. So you have to be anointed. Hence why they they smeared and called them Christians. Right. Are yeah. you anointed people? Right. Yeah. While they were wearing fringes and phylacteries. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's he he anointed. Yeah. Come on, y'all. See? Yeah. Just like today. Jake walks by. Listen, you brothers gotta understand, you were growing up and because we were young, we looked at our people as cool, you know, God mode. But then you now when you have some sense and you're a man, you actually see how simple our people are, how low level they are. Like, damn, uh, when I was younger, Cassidy was a man. Now I'm older. I'm like, right. that shit is basic, bro. Right. So, when you know what I mean? Like, when you look, like when Brother Polite first came out, he was like uh, profound to people. But now yeah, go back yeah, and yeah. watch his videos. It's fucking, and yeah, then it's yeah. It's like... Redfish, bluefish, yeah. knickknack, patty. You're like, bro, this is low level. Filled with hot air. Thank nothing. you. Yeah, Thank man. you. <laughs> but we see it now. Yeah. We don't. That's what Jake banks on is your simplicity to their simplicity, which gives them a pass. Hence why the most notable people, ground level for Jake, is a nigga that raps with his diaper showing. Yeah. His drawers hanging out. Yep. You know? That's a baby, bro. And then the, the woman, because she's thick, titties, ass is hanging out. So you got to look. Our people are very low level right now. Yeah. Very simple. He call it the big house because it's big. Low. You see Cardi B talking for Kamala? Oh the God. teleprompter cut off. Cut that shit off. The teleprompter cut off and she said she didn't know what to say. She didn't have nothing to say, bro. Then she started reading from a phone. It's like when a battle rapper forgets his bars, pulls his phone out to, to get his shit off. Excuse my language. Right, though. And it says verse 4. We're on you. The Lord got us on you. You know? We can see you, man. Jake be thinking we can't see them. Jake thinks that we ain't Jake, too. And it says, And Samuel did that which the Lord spake. Of course. And came to Bethlehem. Because... Obedience is better than sacrifice. And the elders of the town trembled at his coming. The elders trembled at, at this prophet coming, this priest uh, walking into their city. Let's read that part again. Yep. It says, and the elders of the town trembled at his coming and said, See, so Jake's not trembling at the, the, the coming of the prophets. Right. Now, don't get me wrong. Going into the body of believers with Yahweh Shai being the head, we tremble when you see a uh, message from the elders. Oh, oh, what they say? Yeah. There was times where we were younger, all right, a few years ago, getting ready just to step out, you know, step out. And then uh, I think it was you, brother, it was like, yo, the elders said oh, something. Yeah, yeah. And before we were leaving, we found out it was a Sabbath. <laughs> yeah. And we trembled, oh, it's yeah, a Sabbath. Yeah, yeah. Because it was a high holy day. Yeah. And it was like a continuance. So then uh, it was like breaking news. Hey, just to let your brothers know, tonight's the Sabbath as well. So what would we do? We dropped everything and came quick. Yep. Oh, oh, okay. And then what would we do? We lived it by law. Yep. If they said it, then we do it because we're trembling. But you have other Israelites that are not, they're not set up to do that. Uh, you yeah. know? Yeah. Fair in hand. What you hot? Okay. And it says... Um, and said, comest thou peaceably? And he said, peaceably, I am come to sacrifice unto oh, the Oh, it said, cometh thou peaceably? Mm -hmm. Some people, we are all, uh, um, the water, bro. I appreciate that. Oh, wow. Something going on. The water. The water bro. Um, can you read that again? Yes. Because it said, cometh thou peaceably? Now, Apostle Paul said, to some, we are life, but to others, death. See? So to, to some, we're peaceable, but to others, it's not as, as peaceful. Right. Uh, 1 Samuel 16, verse uh, 5. And he said, peaceably, I have come to sacrifice unto the Lord. One more time, can you read that part about asking him what he's there for? Okay, yep. Because I got this precept for us. Okay. Uh, uh, 1 Samuel 16, and verse 4. And Samuel did that which the Lord spake and came to Bethlehem. Yep. 
and the elders of the town tremble at his coming. Tremble, fear. Oh, what is the message? Right. You know, can you tell me? Cause see, you have to understand back then you didn't have Gmail. You didn't have Yahoo. You didn't have instant messenger. Right now we can message one another. We could uh, see your comments. If you had a concern or question right now, imagine back then and we were three Sabbaths away that, that that took a lot of patience and faith, you know, yeah. so this is precious what they say reach out and touch someone. Yeah. This is precious. We could touch one another. We were this close. The Internet, as the elders say, does the heavy lifting. So wherever you brothers are at, it's as if you're right here with us yeah. or we're right there with you like Ezekiel poking his head in. If you're at home in your living room. Our heads are poking uh, our heads through your uh, TV screen. Yeah. And you're hearing a, a message. So it said, what did it say? Does thou come peaceably? Yep. It says, come as thou peaceably? Can you get 2 Corinthians 2 and start at 14? If you want, you can read it in the NLT. But if your spirit is with the KJV, I get it, brother. So let's read that too real quick. Okay. Uh, when I say 2... Yeah. Two and 14. Two and 14. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. I'm gonna keep going while you get that. Yep. And it says, and he said peaceably. So now Samuel's telling him, I am coming peaceably unto you. I come and I bear a message. This is good for you. You got it? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> this is 2 Corinthians 2 and 14 in the NLT. Perfect. Thank, thank God. He has made us his captives and continues to lead us along in Hamashiach's tri triumphal procession. Mm. Now he uses us to spread the knowledge of Hamashiach everywhere. Are we not spreading the knowledge of Yahweh Shai? Yeah. We're being used to spread the knowledge. We're not being used to march for Sonia Macy. Right. Remember the last Jake woman? Yeah. Which, you know, that, that's, that happens, you know? And listen, IUIC, you ain't gonna be able to be marching for Jake and Jacob's trouble. Yeah. That IUIC is gonna fulfill Jeremiah 16, where it says you're not even gonna lament now or mourn, like, yeah. cause it's gonna be too much judgment. Keep going, brother. Like a sweet perfume. See? Mm. So to some, we're like a good smell. Oh man, it's like, like how your countenance changes depending on someone you meet. Like the eyes light up, you know? Seeing a loved one. So this proves that we're um, of, of the hopeful elect uh, being of the house of David because we're seeing a loved one or a family member, yeah. someone of our household. Yeah. So we're of the household of faith, brothers, you know? And we're not greedy with it. Like, sit right here. You can fit right here. Here, have my seat. Have my seat. No, you're good, brother. You can stay. Keep going. That's why, I'm sorry. That's why it says, rest with us. Y'all are resting. We're resting together. Sometimes a brother will post a precept we're looking for yep. or uh, a statement we made and he's backing it up, proving it. So we're all just together collectively building through what? Edification mm -hmm. of what? Yahweh Shai before he returns and all hell's about to break loose because we got more to talk about. Keep going. Our lives are Christ, uh, Hamashiach like fragrance rising up to the most high. Fragrance rising up to the most high. Prayers as a sweet savor. Right. Keep going. But this fragrance is perceived differently. Oh, but this smell, this teaching, this camp is perceived differently from other Israelites. We've actually watched um, IUIC drive by in their Judah 144 license plate and just straight yeah. not make eye contact. Yeah, yeah. We've watched them yeah. about uh, 50 yards right yeah. over there look at us and like, we're like, what's up? Like just, we was... We wasn't on no debating. It was, oh, Israelite, Israelite, Shalom. We get it where you stand. But we was we was just wanting to say Shalom, right? Just like that. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. So see, we're, li we're living proof of the scriptures we're reading. You know, and hey, let me also add, we're entering times where you're going to go through a Psalms scenario. So you have to understand when you read like, then will I trust in the Lord and he'll build me up. You're going to have to be put in a situation to need to make that prayer. Yep. You're not going to be laying in bed comfortably saying, Lord, take me out of this distress. Right. You're going to literally be in distress. And then you're going to send that prayer up to get that Psalm scenario answered. 
you know? To, for the Lord to uphold you while you're drowning, you're going to have to be in water. But this fragrance is perceived differently yep. by those who are being saved and by those who are, are perishing. Mm. Now read in the KJV. I like that though. So see, we're, we're a difference because uh, because the KJV does say life and death. Yeah. But I do like the, 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 the uh, sweet savior. Savor. You got it, brother? Uh, what scripture was it? So I, I want uh, 2 Corinthians 2, 14 and 15 now in the KJV. Just because oh, okay. we read it in the NLT, but there's two key words I want out of it. Okay. okay. Now, thanks. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. Yep. KJV. Now, thanks be unto the Most High, which always causes us, us to triumph in Hamashiach. So we, we're, we're victorious. But to be victorious, one has to be in what? Battle. So now we're learning the condition of the battle that all men must fight. So now we're fighting. For you to be victorious, brothers, you're going to have to be in war. You're going to have to be in battle. So you, you're not just going to be sitting there eating lamb and victory. Right. Things are going to have to happen. Yeah. You know, keep going. It said he's going to save us out of famine. That means there's going to need to be a famine first. Yeah. You know, a much tribulation. Thank you. Like Apostle Paul said. Right. Which always causes us to, us to triumph yep. in Hamashiach and make it manifest our Savior mm. of His knowledge by us in every place. So what we're doing is making the knowledge known everywhere we go of who Yahweh Shai. What's the What's the three things we always say if somebody says, well, "What are y'all out here?" We're out here to tell you the MOTB is the the C hip. We're here to tell you that Babylon is going to be destroyed in the next world's war. And we're here to tell you that Yahweh Shai is coming to deliver his elect. Yep. That's the trifecta right there, baby. Keep going. Right, though? What, what else do you need now? Right. For we are unto the most high as a sweet savor See? of Hamashiach. But then other camps are going into what? The law. Now, see, you ain't got your fringes on, so we got to talk 20 minutes about that. What the what? We got to sit here for 30 minutes for you to tell me this slave who's behind on rent, just trying to get this by, got a quarter tank of gas, you know, you on Craigslist, like all just through. Read it again, number 15. Like, damn. You walking away like old boy and don't drink juice in the hood. Remember when they stomped him out? Yeah. They just kept stomping him, Flat Stanley. Yeah. That's why the IUIC treat niggas is frog hopping over each other with yeah. precepts on Jake, beating you down, yeah. beating the crap out you. Yeah, man. Tripping. Uh, for we are unto the most high as a sweet savior. You got Jake at home commenting on their videos. I'm wearing my fringes right now, Deke. You in the house. You in the house. Jake is crazy, bro. Right. But there's something wrong there where you're overcompensating. Like how they say that with Esau, like a short man, he always is in a big ass truck. Yeah. He's overcompensating for something. So what camps like IUIC pushing the law, you're overcompensating on something you're lacking, and that's faith. So that's why you had the outward appearance so hard, you know? Keep going. In them that are saved, and in them that perish. To the one we are. To the one we are the savior of of death unto death. See, to one we're a, uh, we're a smell of death to you, but to but to say then the other to life. And to the other, the savior of life. Boom. To life. It's like, oh, don't you ask how you feel when you watch videos. Yeah. You know, what the one Jake said. He said I needed that. Yeah. I needed my battery recharged. Yeah. And Jake told us that on this street years ago. Yeah. He said, I needed that. I needed my battery. Yep. To, so Jake needs spiritual completion. Right. Their, 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 spirit, their spirit button's blinking. Like, you know, a phone yeah. like showing you it's low. Yeah. Jake's spirit's low. So you need to fill them with your Yahweh Shai. Okay. Like how they show you those uh, videos in a poor cup. Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. Yep. Thank you, brother. I got a quick one because you said Jake needed like a spiritual recharge, right? Yeah, we all do. Um. 
Though the outward man perish, the inward man's renewed day by day yeah. by day by day. Yeah. And we're at we're at a time now where any second, any minute, any hour, any day is gonna happen. Any minute, any second, no matter what you're going through, whatever it is, just like that is gonna change. Literally, I'm talking literally. Whatever you're going through, we're a door we're a door handle away from a change. That's right. That's it. That's right. This is the book of Luke, chapter four, verse seventeen. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, this is Yahweh Shai. Yeah. So Yahweh Shai was reading uh, at the temple. Yep. Like Yahweh Shai would be here at camp, we'd be in the beach chairs. Yep. All right. right. I'll be sitting there right there too. Right. Hell yeah. Right. Unless he wants us to yeah. be a reader. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I'm sitting there right there. Yeah. Uh, well, sitting. You know how they sit on their feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> comfortable. Chris Pons Apple Right. right. Yeah. I'm comfortable. Hey, you got to get comfortable with letting Yahab Bashim Al Shai work, man. Mm -hmm. All these other guys that got this spirit and uh, we're going to march and we're going to storm the castle, you're done. Perfect. You got to you gotta just trust the Lord, man. Let him do it. You know? What yeah. they say, won't he? Mm -hmm. You got to let him. You got to start being in spirit like what Christians be putting on their wall. Let go, trust God. Yeah. We don't put, we are that in that spirit. See, these people just, um, they just market it, you know? They're just merchandise. They're not really living it. They're just looking it. And it says, and when he and when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, the spirit, the spirit of the Lord is upon me mm. because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Right. Oh, so now that cuts Bishop Nathaniel for calling us bums. Yep. It says that preach the gospel to the poor, mm -hmm. not point the finger and make fun of the poor because they don't have a 501c3 or a purple soul plane, right. jet setting and flying and riding, right? Mm -hmm. From one side of the world to the other, spilling uh, spilt liquor. Uh, yep. <laughs> Read that again. Because these other jakes are partying, bro. All right. Hey, listen, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, J I'm a Judite in the spirit. I'm a jake. You know what I mean? Like, bro, there's no way that we're just gonna have this money in planes and we're flying to Barbados just to preach. Right. So don't let them, right. don't don't play me, right. bro. Okay? Come on, Cause man. Cause I'm a Jake too. Come on, man. Right or right, brother? You're They're not turning part, up. You're not going there just to, come on, man. You're not sitting Indian style reading proverbs in, to in people. Barbados. <laughs> no, bro. In the, in the not city. happening, Captain. Yeah. No way, we're, we're Jake. We're Jake, baby. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's natural. It's not. We're not gonna have sisters here just being sisters. Y'all gonna be our woman. You're not just gonna be here and we're shalom. Hey, hey, shalom. You giving her the hearty shot? No, that's gonna be your woman. Right. If there was three sisters right here, the three sisters would be our three women. We're Israelite men. We're we're. See how real we are. Yeah. That's. And guess what? That's how the Lord set it up. Yeah. You know. And that's how it's gonna be. But they're just they're just trying to front. No, no, sit there, sis. Sit there, sister. Get out of here. Get oh, out of here, bro. We in reality. And it says, uh, Yahweh Shai was reality. Yeah, right. Yahweh Shai spoke reality to us. You know? He told a city it would have been better. Uh, Sodom yeah. would have been better off than what's going to happen to you. Mm -hmm. So he said, faggots would have got more mercy yep. than what's coming for you. Ooh, Come on, man. We're talking about we're talking about our king, our father. We're talking about Yahweh Shai. That's right. We're talking about our Lord. Okay. Our savior, man. We're, thank you. Man. We're talking about our Savior. Man. And it says, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel. So you have to be anointed to do this. That's right. You have to be anointed to tell someone that doesn't look like you that potentially a kingdom of heaven that's for you can be also for them. Yeah. If the Lord ain't anointing you to, 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 to be in that spirit, it ain't going to happen. You're going to say, you see yourself in um, act like you don't. Do you see yourself in this sign right here, brother? Do you? Say, then it ain't for you. Come on, keep reading. Right, you a Hamite. Right. You a Hamite, brother. That's carnal. Get ready. Get ready to pick cotton. Right. Right? <laughs> like, and he, he got the fringes on. He, he got the name. <laughs> That's great. And he believed. And he believed. The Ethiopian unit. Come on. The Ethiopian unit, they would have oh, turned man. him away.
That's why the whole the whole book of Acts is like the foundation really is preached to the Gentiles. Yeah. You know, that's why it says like a council says that the Gentiles received the word. The Gentiles, you know, uh, received the Holy Spirit. Years ago, you know, years ago, a so-called black man with an Air Force hat came up oh. to our camp saying that he was going to go buy crack. Yep. So we listened to his testimony and then the spirit jumped on us to pray over him. And after we prayed over him, he said, okay, I'm good, I'm good. And then he said, do you like Ethiopian people? Yep. So that could have, that was a test. Yep. That could have been an angel. Yep. That, so the Lord tested us to see how we would treat someone that wasn't identifying as us, but his spirit identified with us. Right. See that? Yeah. And it says, he has sent me to heal the broken heart. He was, he was broken. Like we yeah, were broken. See, so the gospel came to us, and then that's another thing. Can you get Galatians, the third chapter? We're still in Galatia right now, if you notice. Yeah. We're traveling right now, right, in the spirit. So soon we'll be in Thessalonians. You got it? Read from the top, please. This is Galatians chapter 3, verse 1. Oh, foolish Galatians, yep. who has bewitched you. Yep. So there's times where the believers can get bewitched. Now, if they're of the elect, they'll snap out of it or they're ultimately resistant. But if they're not of the elect, then that was what caused you to get sifted out. That ye should not obey the truth. Before whose eyes Yahweh Shah Hamashiach has been evidently set forth, crucified among you. Yep. This only what I learned of you receive ye the spirit. Ooh. By the works of the law. Yep. Or by the hearing of faith. So he said, how did you get this? Did you hear it by the works of the law or the hearing of faith? Right. So like us, just like them. So you, but that's another thing too. You got some Israelites that wake up uh, through the law, but that's what they're only set up to do now is just live by the law. But us, we got woken up by the spirit of faith. Right. So that's where we're at right now. Either you... You're, you're uh, uh, awake and believing, walking around as just a law-abiding Israelite or a faith-based Israelite. See? So we're what? Jews inwardly, not outwardly. Outwardly is just what? The, 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 the flesh. The flesh right. You know? We were reading 1 Samuel. Yes, he said, don't look on the outward why I didn't choose him. Yeah. Man looketh outward. I searcheth the heart. Right. See? Oh, uh, that was it, right? Yeah, that was it. Okay, back to this. Uh, First Samuel. Yeah. Okay. What were we? What were we before that? Jeremiah twenty-eight. And then we weren't nowhere else. I had Luke. Yeah, what? finish Luke. Yes, yes, finish that. Because you mentioned about Jake. You know that that battery got to be recharged. Yes, in the spirit. please. Uh, back in Luke four and verse um, eighteen, and mind you, this is how I was shy reading out the book of Isaiah, quoting Isaiah uh, 61. Yeah. Yeah. Water. So I. So yeah, how was shy? was reading out of the Old Testament. That's right. You know? Luke 4 and verse 18, and it says, he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Yep. That, that's amazing. To preach deliverance. Brokenhearted. Man. So you can't always think, um, think um, uh, like uh, romance, broken heart, beach. No, the brokenhearted is the, our mind broken. Right. We are broken up here, okay? So we, our minds got fixed. Our minds got washed. See, this is very important now. Because mm -hmm. then with you having a fixed heart and not a broken one, now you can, uh, you can process the reality of the Lord without a Western mindset. Right. Yeah, that's right. And it says to, uh, to preach the deliverance to the captives. For the captives. So deliverance is important. But deliverance is coming. That's why um, uh, this election is very exciting. Oh, yeah. This is why um, uh, Elon Oak Tree, guess what Elon Musk said? He said that you could get a procedure done in 600 seconds. You can get the MOTB procedure done in 600 seconds. Do you know how long 600 seconds is? 10 minutes. That's so, so he's saying he could put it in your forehead in 10 minutes or less. Oh, man. 
production. Oh, there it yeah. is. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right, yeah. And the hand, that's 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 one minute or less. Yeah. Just boom, boom. Like when you go into the military, they actually have you uh, uh in a line mm -hmm. and you just walk up and they hit you in both arms. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom. With a, a compressor. So when they get ready to roll this out, they already know how they're gonna do it. Mm -hmm. Because the trial run with the jump shot. Yeah. How many people lined up? Next, next, next. So that's what's getting ready to take place. Man. And it says, and recovering. Of and the black woman is gonna become a, a pro at microing people. Yeah. You know, cause yep. you're gonna see our people push the MOTB too. Yeah. Now the uh, F to the D to the A just um, uh, promoted a new chief over the devices of medical. Damn, I should have said that. But anyways, uh, they just put a, a Eve up as a director over oh, yeah. the MOTBs. Um, you know, see, I can't even, you know what I'm trying yeah. to say? Can't even say it. So it's a black woman. Better cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And her under curses, she's already looking at us like we ain't shit. Yep. So she's going to come down with wrath with Esau. Esau's going to come marching in. And he's gonna have her ass on a fucking chained collar. And she's gonna be barking and sniffing everywhere. Niggas hide there. Niggas gonna be there. Remember like when uh Crouching Fountain? Yeah. He was walking around with his little pit bull. Yep. You know? Yeah. So expect our people to be used to push the MOTB as well. And to look at you like you're the problem for not getting it. Cause look at all the women right now of our tribes that are for Kamala. Mamala. Mamala. Kabbalah. <laughs> Right now, they yep. for her ass. Yep. Okay, you just had uh, Kelly Rowland in a uh, fucking... Um, a zoot suit. In a zoot suit. An exercise zoot suit. She had put her ass in a, um, a, a <laughs> Dennis Rodman's NBA's pregame suit. Man. You know? This and then you crazy. had uh, Quavo in a, in a fucking fish knock uh, stockings looking like a, oh, wow. a, a Haitian vampire. Wow. You know? The nigga looked like the sequel to Vampires in Brooklyn. I thought fucking Eddie Murphy was going to oh, pop up man. somewhere. Through, bro. Through. And it says, to preach deliverance to the captives. I don't deal with Jake unless man. I read your spirit and you cool. Other than that, I really don't deal with Jake, bro. Mm -hmm. If I see you got pink shoes on, I don't talk to you. Yeah. And that proves that this whole shit is a trap for Jake because look who's Esau using to get Jake. Simple Jake's. Yes. You see, but they're, they got higher status, quote unquote, to society. So Jake see that as influence, you know, now, oh, let's go vote for yep. Kamala, you know? But what Esau does is he gets the dumb. Yeah. C Cardi B is dumb, okay? She's, she's, she's highly retarded, she's yeah. dumb. So they're not like, and all the intellectual Israelites that have made it, they're not being used because they do got some sense. Right. Some of them got some sense, you know? But others, they're, they're low. So then he puts them on high. Yep. You know, like, remember there was a season where uh, all the slow people were going viral? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And it says, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight, excuse me, and recovering of sight to the blind. To we were blind. Yeah. We were blind to where we were. Yep. We were blind to um, our nationality. Yeah. We were blind to the truth, okay? Yeah, that's right. We were blind to it all. So right. we had to change the way we eat, yeah. Change the way we live yeah. to survive. <laughs> right though? Yeah. We really yeah. did though. We did yeah. we, we 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 literally have been transformed in captivity to to a level that's gonna be pleasing or acceptable to the Lord to be delivered, mm -hmm. to make it out. You know? That's right. Which ultimately it was it's predestination though. And it says to set at liberty and this is Yahweh Shai reading this in um the synagogue around IUIC. Right. Around the Jakes. Because you got to understand, yeah. IUIC was back there. ICBK, Sakari, all of us were back there. We have to believe that we were a, a generation in that time period. Oh, yeah. Either uh, with Yahweh Shai or after Yahweh Shai or just fruit from his disciples of Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. We could have just been uh, uh, brothers in Syracuse. That's it. You know? Yeah. But you have to believe that the men that are here today that have a role a, a, a role on camera, as in like these other camps, you have to believe they're back there too. Oh, yeah. So Yahweh Shai potentially could have debated some of the 
men that are teachers now. Yep. And it says to set at liberty them that are bruised. Right, and he's really cutting the, the law pushers. Yeah. You know? Keep going. To preach the acceptable gear of the Lord. And he closed the book and he gave it again to the minister and sat down and the eyes of them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. Right. They're giving him that side eye. Oh, man. They're giving him that side eye. You know? And uh, One last verse. And it says, verse 21, And he began to say unto them, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. Wow. See? Right. And now it's what? Happened again. That's right. So now let's go back. What was it Samuel? Yes. Yeah, let's go back to that. And then we'll back to uh, Jeremiah 28. Back in Samuel chapter 16, and I'll start four. And Samuel did that which the Lord spake, and came to Bethlehem, and the elders of the town trembled at his coming, and said, Comest thou peaceably? And he said, Peaceably. I am come to sacrifice unto the Lord. Sanctify yourselves, and come with me to the sacrifice. And he sanctified, and he sanctified Jesse and his sons, mm -hmm. and called them to the sacrifice. Keep going. And it came <clears> to pass when they were come, that he looked on uh, Eli, uh, Eliab, which is, I believe, one of David's brothers, and said, surely the Lord's anointed is before him. Right, because so Israel had a, they had a, um, a common, they had a common agreement of who they, who they looked at as the part. Right. But just because you look the part don't mean you are the part. Right. Like how in certain movies, you have a director where he said, I made this role with you in mind. Right. You right. know? But that don't mean that that's who the role is for. Right. You know? Just like with, uh, with King Solomon and his brother. They thought, I forgot that guy's brother. Was it Absalom? Uh, I think Absalom, yep, was yeah. one of them. They thought King, they thought that was going to be the next the guy. Next king up yep. at the King David. But no, the prophet, I forgot, who was it? Uh, it was a prophet Nathan? that said, yeah, I believe it was the prophet Nathan. He said that King Solomon is going to be the next king after uh, King David. You right. Know? And it says. Um, so that's the time where we're in a time yeah. where the Lord is going to establish who he's dealing with amongst the congregation. Mm -hmm. That's right. And it says, verse uh, 7. But the Lord said unto Samuel, look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature. And that's what the world does. Exactly. Right? That's what everyone does. Watching the videos and you're carnally. If you're carnally looking at uh, uh, men that are teaching, that could that could be with you. Mm -hmm. Because the right setting could get your ass. Oh, it's yeah. bait. That's why they use clickbait. Clickbait is witchcraft. Because it's a deception. Yeah. They I've, oh, uh, Watchmen for Israel are demons, man. Y'all yeah. be titling your videos. And I click that shit and it don't be. Yeah. I'm like, well, where the hell is the, where is it? I fast forward it and you don't find it. And I'm like, no one's saying nothing because it's our job. Right. Because no one in the congregation saying nothing. Why didn't no one tell Deacon Aka while he was at camp that his camp sign has an incorrect breakdown for the image of the beast. But to be in Genesis, you have to know the correct breakdown to be in that camp. So why is it no one saying, hey, brother, we got the wrong camp sign right here. Right. That, that's that's pure confusion right there. And hypocrisy. Right. And they're and they're teaching in envy and strife. He said to be in Genesis, you have to uh, teach that it's lawful to cover your head while teaching. But in the same breath, you have an IUIC poster that's a false breakdown for the image of the beast in Revelation 13. Make that make sense. Man, horrible man. And it says. And no one's saying nothing to that. Right. All those men around you with their hoodies on. No one's saying nothing. Man. That's why the Lord said, flee the tents of these wicked men. Yes. If not, you're going to be consumed with them. So if you come up to camp half burned with a uh, smoke drifting off your body, we know why. Oh, man. Like, nah, you stayed with them. <laughs> Let the blind lead the blind. Yeah. And, right. then, and then now you got uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Priest, um, uh, uh, getting on Amalek openly, like oh. verbatim putting ish, ish, ish. Like, oh, what are wow. you doing, bro? What are you doing? When that's clearly um, a tactic Esau's going to use to come against the ministry is saying we're anti. Right. You know, when we're Shemites too. So wh what's going on, man? What's really going on yep. uh, behind the scenes? Yep. And it's uh, back at 1 Samuel 16 and 7. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature. Right. Did not believe uh, 
Yeah, how Shai said it, like if he has a uh, nice apparel, right. you would accept him. Yeah. But yeah, how Shai also said, uh, uh, when I was naked, you clothed me. When I was hungry, you fed me. So right now, you got a lot of Jakes that are not being clothed or fed by the other Israelite camps. But what you're doing is as if you're denying Yahweh Shai by denying his sheep. You know? Yeah, he right. said, if you love me, you'll feed him. Right. You hungry? Here you go. That's right. So we're like spiritual fathers. And we're, we're taking care of the Lord's babies. Right. You know? And it says, because I have refused him, for the Lord seeth not as man seeth. Yep. For man looketh on the outward appearance. Yep. But the Lord looketh on the heart. Yeah, that's why the most wicked niggas always got the, the best gear. Yeah. You know? Because he's overcompensating to show you the lack of his righteousness. Right. I'm not saying because you dress nice or this or that, but there's something behind the scenes when you're overly outwardly. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. You're hiding something. Like a woman. She's putting over excessive makeup on. She's diverting your eyes to here and not to the bump right here. Right, yeah. You know? That's true. Oh, you're a demon. You almost got me. Yep. You know, I, you know, I'm telling you, you know how you grow to become a man is when you actually witness wickedness blatantly that's not repenting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're really a demon. Yeah. Yes, I am. Oh, shit. The violators. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm serious. Cause because we we fight against wickedness. We rebuke it. You know, so to see people fully into it it's an eye opener we're in a season of an eye opener that's why i like that uh mamala is they're be using the queen of heaven because it's exposing where everybody stands mm -hmm. exposes you oh you do got queen of heaven on you oh you are a demon see so we're in a time of great revealing everything's being revealed you know because babylon allows you to fake it to make it but faking it ain't gonna allow you to make it yeah. But you've been faking it out, faking the funk. You had some uh, demon, dyke demon. She was uh, in a camp. She was a girl. Then she started oh. turning herself into a boy. Oh, shit. Right? She started turning herself into a boy and was around some Israelites, Shalom and brothers. What? And she had a wife. But you got men. <laughs> no, this is crazy. Damn. This shit is crazy, damn. bro. That's just this shit cool. crazy, bro. <laughs> That's complete evil Damn. and it shows the lack of leadership amongst these other israelites because through the spirit and power of you how about you outside the lord is a, the lord is showing we can govern ourselves over here right we're governing ourselves on this side through the spirit and power of you how about you outside great millstone we are self-governing the brotherhood okay the, the lord has raised up men to govern right and it's taking place man right and these other camps they're showing you that they're just kids in adult bodies. Right. I seen Deacon Iathun, six foot four, doing the um, the what the hell's that leg thing? I don't even know what it's called. One right, of them, right? That dumbass dance. One of them, he was dancing to the new moon. Yeah. Got to appreciate. Come on, man. The Lord is showing us that we're a government. We're a government in the spirit. But other camps, you let a fucking woman dress up as a man. That's horrible. And then you got all these dreads, you're all off. You're off, man. This, it, thank right, you. Right. If you come up with a t-shirt and fringes on, I'm gonna look at you funny. Yeah. I just am. With an edge up? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yep. There's no elders. No rebuke. But 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 there's elders. What are you eldering? Yeah. Oh, they wouldn't like us over there. Mm -mm. They probably kill us, bro. Yep. They would kill. If we went to one of their tabernacking, right? Shalom, we tabernacking. Yeah. We might not make it out the forest unless the Lord yeah. was with us. Honestly, rebuke is like the highest form of love. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Right. Yep. But these people don't rebuke each other. It's fake friends, fake relationships. 95, 99% of the, the, the dating in, in America is, is uh, superficial and fake. Yeah. Y'all do that shit for views. This is Amos 9 and verse 11. And that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David mm. that is fallen. So we're being raised up. That's why great fear fell on them. In Revelation 11, it says great fear fell on them when they stood up. That's right. Okay? They're not, the elite ain't fearing um, IUIC marching in Oakland like the Black Panthers. Right, no. Cohen tell pro, bro. Right. 
That was our guys. Yep. How many times you seen a movie? Oh, in a Black Panther movie, they were using an individual that uh, was on the run, but they didn't arrest him, but they sent him to every Black Panther headquarter. So they legally had the right to raid that Black Panther headquarter because they were harboring a fugitive. Mm -hmm. So he lets you do things so he can do them. Okay? Right. So he's letting you march. You need to get sold out for a logo on a pen. It's, right, though? Yeah. Yep. I who I see on a white beater. <laughs> and it says, and close up the breaches thereof. And what's that? Close up that uh the envy and the vexation. Yep. Okay, because the Lord has brought us around southern and northern. And we become like all men. When I'm with Judah, I'm Judah, baby. When I'm with Ephraim, I'm Ephraim. So we are through and that's the Lord doing that. Mm -hmm. You know? That's the Lord doing that. Like I'll have Jake's, they'll think I'm Spanish. Like I'm not Spanish, but but I'll be able to, to speak with them. Not fully, but the Lord be allowing us to communicate with the, with the North so that they know they're accepted. But we look typically so-called black. So the Lord is closing up the breaches. You see the brothers, you know, Northern and Southern together. We're at camp together. We're, we're, we're a walking, talking 12 tribe chart. We are the 12 tribes chart, Right. you know? Bone to, uh, a bone to his bone. Thank you. We are the 12 tribes chart. Right. And it says, and I will build, excuse me, and I will build it as in the days of old. Yep, beautiful. And in the days of old, who was uh, in the house of David? King Solomon. That's right. You know? That's right. Back in Jeremiah 28 and verse 8, the prophets that, that, have, been, that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms. Oh, well, we're prophesying against the country of our own people. Yeah, right, yeah. That's two thirds. That's uh, Jacob's trouble. And we're prophesying against uh, the Idumeans in our land that appointed uh, our land into their possession. And this country that we're in, and the country, and the neighboring countries, they're going to partake in the third world's woe right. to come against one another. We're, we're in a time where we're going to sit back and watch the game play out, okay? We're in a time where the Lord is, is, is about to start prophetically punching people mm -hmm. you know they're gonna start getting spiritually slapped with judgment yeah right we're in a time where it's just gonna be a shift you're gonna drive down the street esau's hoods up he's broke down in the highway this person's catching hell because because since we've been here on earth wickedness has been winning so now we're about to witness the end result of being wicked means you won't win you have a misconception of winning that's why there's four four quarters in a game right you could be up right now life is a game of runs wait till we get the ball baby right we're gonna show you the triangle defense right you know yeah, right yeah with the games already won it so likes to rig games what's wrong with this game of life that's rigged you know and it says and, it, and it's rigged for the right people you know what's wrong with that we're telling you there's a predestinated uh righteous government what here it is, there's a righteous government being raised up while you have a wicked garbage government in power right now. Yeah. Ain't that heavy brothers in the world? We were uh, conspiracy theorists. We were the government, the this or that. And we didn't know we were predestinated to be a government on your house side shoulders. Right. We didn't even know. Maybe that's why the Lord had our spirit to talk about the government before he gave us the good news. Because we're a body too, you know? Jeremiah 28 and verse 8. And uh, both against many countries and against great kingdoms yep. of war and of evil. And, and of war. So the oh, draft yeah. is coming. Oh, yeah. All right. You just got uh, Crazy K. I think he sent like 10,000 of yeah. his men yep. to Russia. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. You got uh, you got Persia popping, Amalek's going yep. in. So now the next step, because Babylon's military has been rated as weak, the actual weak, it was rated weak. So now the next step to reinforce their military might would have to be advanced technology. Yeah. This is why you see a rolling out of AI and uh, robotic bots, because that's the next level that countries have to go and attempt to solidify the power that they're gaining or losing, okay? That's right. And it says, of war and of evil. Evil, bad times. Bad times are on the rise. Bad times across the board, all right? And if one thing I've noticed as of late 
is there's a lot of situations with the migrants and the people of this land. Things are happening. You got migrants jumping on women, man. Going to people's homes. Taking shit over. There's real things actually happening out here. Now you have um, uh, uh, Joe Rogan was going in how they just now released that they can use military to put down a citizen if they are uh, uprising against the police. Oh wow! So they have yeah. now they've been legally have the rights to shoot to kill. Damn! Oh, madman sparing none. Madman sparing none. And it says, and of, of evil and of pestilence. And, uh, can you get uh, crowds up about Jeremiah twenty nine eleven? Cause that evil ain't for us. Right. Jacob's trouble ain't for us. Mm -hmm. Nah, we got Sorello. You, Jake. Right, right. You, Jake. But it says he shall be saved out of it. You got it, brother? Yeah. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Towards you, to you brothers, right? And not to, he said, I pray not for them, but also for those that believe on hearing their words. So that means all of us, right? <laughs> Keep going. Said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil. I, I, oh! See, it said of evil's coming, but the Lord's, t this is the same book. So Jeremiah is saying the prophets came of war, of pestilence, and of evil, but in the, in the same book, but the Lord told Jeremiah who prophesies of evil coming, the Lord said, but evil ain't coming for you. Right. So we're, if we're telling you a famine coming, that means we ain't going to be affected by the famine. Right. We're not going to be affected by the MOTB. I will keep thee from the hour of temptation. I'm going to keep you from that. So the Lord is going to keep us from the missiles that are going to drop from the, the fowler That's right. by day. That's right. So what we're telling you is coming. We're also going to be kept from it. Read that again, please. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil. Uh to give you an expected end. Woo! So we have an expected end, meaning we're not we're not in question of what's gonna happen for us. No, we're gonna we're gonna be delivered. So we're gonna meet the Lord in the air. We're not in a uh I don't know, we're telling you what's coming for us. Also, we're telling you what's coming for you, you know? Um, and you could go from there to Jeremiah 15. Because we're keep we're gonna keep the balance, because in the same breath. As we're telling you judgment, we're also telling you deliverance too. In the midst of us telling you destruction, we're also telling you deliverance. So it's it's a balance. You got it, brother? Uh, you start right at one. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 15, verse 1. Then said the Lord unto me, though Moses and Samuel stood before me. Oh, the law and the prophet. Yep. We're right, just reading right. Samuel, right? Yep. So you got the law and the prophet. Keep going. Yet my mind could not be toward the people right and we, people. right like now because someone could kind of be looking and say man that brother he just don't like like i remember one time i did a lesson about what is it the darien gap yeah 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 is yeah, that what it is darien gap. the darien gap what jake's got to go through to cross to get up here yeah which is hell which is i, I damn near cried man. watching it because and then uh because elder pastor i mentioned it so of course us listen i went and looked at myself yeah. let me go look this up and uh i'm watching it and I ended up doing a lesson on it, but you damn near shed a tear. The little 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 northern baby, she's praying over a, a PB and J in the middle of a rainforest. Man. You know, a little baby, a little jit. Right. You know? And uh anyway, so I had uh pretty much did a lesson going in how we got it good here. Like we really ain't yeah. got it bad, bro. Right. Cause in, in our kingdom, hey, Esau ain't calling in, okay? Right. You know, I'm, hey, you called him before, right? Yeah. So we don't got it that bad. Right. We're not, we're not uh, alleviating. We're not taking away for what's done, but we're we're maturely analyzing our current condition right now in captivity. So within that, it says, be content with mm -hmm. food and remnant. So within our gripes, our sorrows, we're seeing, damn, it could always be worse though. You know, we're not in a, uh, we're not in that like the commercial. In the arms of an yeah, angel. Right. Like we ain't in the arms of an angel spirit. Like <laughs> flies and shit on you. Send a quarter a day. You know what I'm saying? Like, so the water y'all about shit out shy. You got hot water? You got a roof over your head? You got some food? You know? Got gas in the tank? Yeah. Come on, man. You got the Lord? So we not in a very low, low condition. 
you know? So anyways, uh, I'm watching the video and hey, they gotta go through a lot to get up here. Yeah. But as I was saying that, uh, some Jake commented on the video, I don't remember what the hell he said, but it's like, you clearly missed the message. Yeah. No, you're still in the uh, Judah, you know, you're still in the division spirit. Yeah. We're not in the division spirit, so read that again. What's up, bro? Huh? You know what though the path the path for you is going to be a kingdom soon you're going to be in a kingdom you're going to be at rest soon soon you're going to be able to enjoy the fruit of the earth that you're on right soon you you will be able to experience the love of your god through your savior so when yahweh your god sends back your savior yahweh shai that's when your path will be complete and then you'll be with the lord Okay. You could uh, listen right now, brother. Read that, uh, Krat Zeba. Uh, what was we reading? Uh, yeah, read that, please. Then said the Lord unto me, though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yep. yet my mind could not be toward his, this people. Right. Cast them out of my sight. See, so the, the, now, even though Israel was cast off, they weren't uh, forgotten. That's why we're here right now. The elders, the brothers, prophecy had to play out. That's why Apostle Paul says the Lord done away with his people. Right. He said, I myself am a Benjamite. Okay? Yep. So the Lord hasn't done away with his people, but the level of their wickedness has caused the Lord to separate himself from us. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's like how a father puts a child on punishment. That's why he you know? that bridge back. Right. He's the mediator back. He's reconciling. You have a problem in a marriage and you have someone that reconciles it. Like in uh, Goodfellas, when uh, Ray Liotta was at his other chick's house, Paulie came and reconciled his relationship back to his wife. He said, man, go home, man. Go home back to your wife. You know? Mm -hmm. Keep going. And let them go forth, and it shall come to pass. Now where'd they go forth? Into mm -hmm. Egypt. We're here again. You know, we we went um, we went forth into what captivity. Now we're in captivity. You see, keep going. And it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, Whither shall we shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith the Lord, such as for death to death, and such as for the sword to the sword, and such as for for the family to the family. So right there, we're finding out that the message. That was given to the prophet to prophesize to the people that it, it, it's not going to be always a good message to you because jake is at a level of wickedness now we're under grace but that you got jakes right now that ain't set up to uh accept grace and take advantage of it so they're set up to what for the sword for the famine for captivity for destruction this is where we're getting ready to enter and jake is not ready for jacob's trouble man when you, lie, when you see something happen amongst Jake, they freak out, yep. they scream, especially the woman. All she does is just scream. Oh, yeah. That ain't helping. Yep. You screaming is not helping. Yeah. I remember uh, um, years ago, this Jake in the world, he told me how uh, when he was, uh, he was sleeping and he accidentally rolled over on his newborn baby. Yeah, yeah. That, it had, that's why you really don't want to sleep with the baby in the, in the bed. But he's, he, and mind you, Jake's like six, seven. He rolled over and the baby uh, lost his breath. So they woke up, him and his woman, and the baby wasn't breathing. So the mother, she just, he said, she just kept running, screaming. All she was doing was running up and down in the house four in the morning, screaming. Panicking. Pa thank you, panicking, <laughs> panic buying, panicking, panicking. Right. Not helping. So what he said, he said, I can't remember if he told her to be quiet, but he, uh, he said uh, he just took the baby, like either breathed in her or gave her, and boom, she started breathing again. Right. 
while her ass is ah, ah, like, what are you doing? And that proves that a woman needs a leader. Yep. Needs a man over, a husband yep. over her. And you're gonna see that in Jacob's trouble. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna see half naked women running down the street, screaming and crying in English and Spanish. Yep. Help me, help me. Yep. As a pack of fucking monsters of men are running behind her. Okay? It's about to get real bad. It's gonna get unhinged. That's right. I just watched that movie last night. That's a great movie. To get a, 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 a reality check. You have to keep yourself sober in this thing. Now, we always hope for good for us, but we also gotta tell you the bad for them. There is bad coming. Bad times are ahead. There is a bad moon rising. And this is gonna be the reality of how it plays out. Watch, read it again, please. And it shall come to pass that they say unto thee, when shall we go forth? Yeah, well, so imagine some world star Jake coming up to you. Some TikToker. Right. You, know, you just had this TikTok chick who's showcasing herself all on all everywhere. Which and then she's got a man, but you ain't no fucking man if you got your woman out here for all eyes to see. Right. So back to my point, she she just got put away, bro. She went to Walmart to meet someone to sell them a picture. A picture of what? What? Then the dude kidnapped her and bodied her while her man was at home waiting for her. Oh, shit. See that? Hey. See? Shit is really happening out here. Things are happening out here. Damn. In a, in a bad way. And it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, when shall we go forth? Yep. Then thou shalt tell them, thus saith the Lord, such as for death to death. That's Jeremiah, right? That's Jeremiah. So if Jeremiah was here today, Jake wouldn't like to hear Jeremiah, but they got no problem reading the book of Jeremiah. Yeah. But you don't but you might read the book, but you don't like the author of it. You know? That's just like Jake though. Remember Loadout Dirty Shame? Uh Jada punched the dude yeah. because what he did on the on the um the soap proper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. how they Jake didn't like Danny Glover <laughs> for color purple. Yeah. But wait a minute, like, you know, why you why are you trying to kill right. the messenger? Right. We're just a messenger. Right. We're just carrying a message. And we're reading it aloud. Didn't it say that? Yeah. When Paul would write a letter or have a letter, we we would take it. Yeah. And we'd go and read it. Hey, that's what he says. Isaiah 58 says, cry loud, spare not. You know, so it don't matter about your feelings. No. This is the words of the, the, the most high. Yep. You know? He could kill us. Yeah, yeah. For sparing yeah. your feelings. Yep. You know? Mm -hmm. Keep going. Then thou shalt tell them. Thus saith the Lord. Thus, I'm, I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry. It's just so much. Thus saith the Lord. So it, it didn't say, thus said Karatazah. Right. It said, thus saith Yahweh. Right. This is what Yahweh said. And he said it to me to say to you. Right. He didn't go and tell you. He told me to tell you. Yep. Amos 3, surely the Lord power do nothing, but he reveals the secret unto his servants, the prophets. And then in the uh, NSAB uh, 95, it says, Surely the sovereign Lord won't do nothing till he reveals it to his prophets first. So if we're telling you the mark's coming, then that means the mark's coming. Now, do you know the uh, true chip? Because Vera, Vera means true, that the F today to the D to the A approved. Do you know when they approved it? 2004, October 13th. Yeah, I saw, yeah. 13, yep. Satan, Lucifer, yep. light bearer. Yeah. And then you got a company by the name of Six Sigma, that's associated with it. Do you know what sigma uh, is a numerical value of in the Greek? 18. How many sixes do you need to get to 18? 666. Here's wisdom. Let him count the number of man for the number of the beast. It is 603 score and six. Yep. So now we see 666 centered around the, the MOTB. We, we literally see prophecy. Yeah. And like you said earlier about Elon Musk with the, 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 the 600 seconds. Yeah. You know, to, you know? Yeah. Which, uh, which he wants to put it in your meta. Which when you go into meta, do you know it also goes into uh, not only mind, but behind? Oh, shit. So that. th that's why oh, they're uh, neuro. Oh, yeah. They're neuro. Oh, yeah, right. You know? About to get neurological out here, Jake. Yeah, man. So, uh, keep reading, Jeremiah. Such as... Such as for death to death, yep. and such as for the sword to sword, and such as for the famine to the famine. So that famine is set up to take certain Jakes out and other people. But remember we said earlier, um, in the famine I will redeem thee. Yep. So in the same pro prophetic message that we're being told to give, 
we're also reading how we're going to be delivered from it. You know? Is it more today? Yeah. And such as for, for the captivity to the captivity. And now what's that captivity? FEMA. Uh, uh, Second address five, Some you'll be taken in a great number. Yep. So we're getting ready to see uh, Babylon shift and change. And you're going to see the... the uh, the fear machine increase. Yeah. More yeah. more boogeymen. More uh, and all these people. All these people are through. The niggas say you gotta wear a pink mask. They'll put a pink mask on. Yeah. Yeah, man. People will brothers. For it. The only thing you that's yours in this captivity is your salvation. Okay. Your woman ain't yours. Your kid ain't yours. Your house ain't yours. Your car ain't yours. Right. That's it, that's it yeah. bro. The, that's it. the Israelite man is the most captive creature on planet Earth. We're the most captive creature. When you really look at the Israelite men and what they are dealing with in captivity, a, a lesser man couldn't handle it. That's why they, they crash out. Yep. They can't handle it. They become unhinged. Going back to that movie, what did he do? He, uh, uh, his, he, was, um, he got the, divorced from his wife. He was all jacked up on meds. He went in the house. He kicked her door in at four in the morning, bodied that adulterous nigga that she's laying up with, took her out and burned the house down. Unhinged. That's that's the reality out here for these people. Esau, Jake, you had a video of Jake. He had a child called Egypt and he was on live. He had took the woman out and then the cops, he was like, come get my kid. Oh, wow. And then he took himself out. Oh, this is the level that the man is going through in this current condition that we're in. Shit is crazy, man. man. Fucking enslaved here. Enslaved here. And then I'm looked at as toxic because I'm, I'm now, now mind you, I don't talk like this inside, obviously. But even just our views or our opinions or belief is looked at. Mm. You know? What you got, bro? Okay, come on back. This is Psalms. Psalm 37 and verse 19. We're waiting to be freed. I'm waiting to get out of this body. Uh, Psalm 37 and verse 18 to 19. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright and their inheritance shall be forever. That's right. They through, shall, through the house of David. That's right. They Verse 19. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time oh we're not gonna our sins aren't gonna weigh us down that's right second edge 16 for let yahweh be your guide yep don't let you hey we ain't no bro we got yahweh shy yeah now when you're mine for the for the um for the um for the, the place where sin is in your mind you need to put yahweh shy over that that's right you got to put yahweh shy over that you have to replace uh uh, uh the worry with hope you got to start replacing things we cannot allow in these days mere mortal uh, bullshit, a mere mortal mentality, clog our our, our spiritual brain to the the, the beauty of Yahweh Shemel Shai. Okay, we can't do that. Yeah. You can't do that, man. We have a savior. Yeah. So I'm right here. What do you? What's up? No matter what you're going through, you got a, you got Yahweh Shemel Shai. You got the brotherhood. You know. Yeah. You got the prophecy happening. Right. And it says, they shall not be ashamed in the evil time. Every day I wake up, I say, man, what's going to happen today? You know? What's going to happen today? Bro, the election is a few days away. Yeah. I don't care who gets in office. The Lord going to be in office. That's right. Okay? We're in a time where uh, Esau is going to start messing up on camera, man. Shit's just going to start getting revealed. Just like the chick who messed up the national anthem recently. Thank you. Camera. Thank you. She said, she said, oh, I messed she, up. I got, I got nervous. Oh, crap. Oh, and then Cardi said that too. I got nervous. Oh, nervous see? for what? Man. What you get nervous for? <laughs> You've been performing in front of men your whole life. What you right. nervous now for? Right. That's called filler. <laughs> and it says, and in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. So we're going to be satisfied when the water gets shut off. We're going to be satisfied when there's a lack of bread. The Lord is going to feed us because we haven't been living off bread alone, but by thy word. See, so we're in a we're in the best case scenario. 
we are in the best position that the Israelite could be in in 2024 going into 2025. And that's in the hands of the Lord. You see? That's right. What you got? This, excuse me. Isaiah chapter, chapter 65 and 13. Therefore, thus said the Lord power, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Yep. Behold, my servant shall drink. See, so now the Lord is saying that his servants are going to eat while portions of his people aren't going to eat. Yeah. See that? Keep going. And it says, behold, my servant shall drink. Yep. But ye shall be thirsty. Yep. Behold, my servant shall rejoice. We're going to rejoice because the Lord is going to show us. See what the Lord is doing and on, on small scales, he's showing us he's with us. You know? Amen. Yep. The Lord is showing us he's with us. See? And it says. And that's something you're going to need to know as the days grow closer to the end. Right. We're in the end of days. That's you know? Damn right we are. We're in. We're in. All the all those movies you watched growing up, yeah, were, they're all about to enter the same room. That's right. You know. Yeah. And it says, "Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed." Yeah, Jake's gonna be ashamed. Jake, Jake's gonna be ashamed, and it's gonna start with who? Those that know that they're Israelites. That's right. Those that taught they are Israelites. You know, those that broke down the scriptures wrong, those that had private interpretations and didn't humble down. And you got to be ready to, um, you got to be ready to witness the Lord's judgment. Yeah. Can you get Proverbs 3 and 25, please? We're in that time, man. Mm. And I'm telling you, man, if something happened, old or young, that Lord did that. Yeah. I seen a video of an eight-year-old Jake. He got hit by a, a, a cop. Oh, wow. But he was in the middle of the road on a dirt bike. Oh, wow. Like, so what are you doing in the middle of the road? Damn. And I... And this poor white officer, right? He, he was driving, right? And he yeah. fucking hit the little, you know what I mean? Where's his parents? Look, at? we're yeah. we're the most compassionate, merciful people you'll meet, but we also understand that the Lord's judgment is the Lord's judgment, right? So we don't get clouded. So my point is, when that little that little boy got hit, the all the whole blood. Oh my God! They're screaming. You hit my nephew. You hit my nephew. Like Jake right. is just uh, wooga booga, right? You know, he's just tripping out. Yeah. But now, what's gonna happen in in, in Jacob's trouble when that happens? Mm -hmm. When it says your bodies will be as dung. Yeah. When you see old and young, what's gonna happen in your mind? Are you spiritually prepared to see the Lord's judgment on a mass scale? Because whether you are or aren't, it's gonna happen. You have to be ready. And majority of these camps ain't building them up to be ready. You got that, brother? After that, let's go to Jeremiah 16. Please, Proverbs. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 25. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. Read it one more time. Be not afraid of sudden fear, yep. neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. So when sudden destruction comes, we're supposed to not be afraid of that. Oh, damn. And then you thank the Lord it wasn't for you. Right, yeah. You know, keep going. For the Lord shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot from being taken. Boom, see? So these are things that we're being built up now before the power goes out. You know, because you got to think, where are people going to be when that whole state is off the grid for 10 days? You know, where are you at in your mind, in your spirit? That's where you're going to really see who has faith because uh -huh. right now Christianity has commercialized faith you can get it on a t-shirt put it on a mug tattoo it to your body Christians are the most phoniest hypocritical people yeah. I've ever met in my life yeah. man y'all yeah. some evil ass fucking people man yeah. and it's vanity yeah. but they're evil they're not sincere with it when I watch them come up to brothers while teaching they they showcase a disgusting trait that we know they have inside of them, yeah. man. It's very disgusting yeah. watching you, uh, uh, you uh, American Christians yeah. under the vibration of white Eurocentric Christiani Christianity. Yeah. It's nasty and it's disgusting yeah. and it's fucking weak too. Oh my God, he just he just said F. Well, why don't you talk about the babies mutilated? Right. Why don't you talk about the billions of dollars the Catholic Church is giving out? Why don't you talk about things? See, they're, they're hypocrites. They're hypocrites. 
They're evil, man. Mm -hmm. You ne never listen to them. They don't got the message. You don't got, you ain't prophesizing. The Lord ain't with you. He ain't set you up. You're a weak ass, a, a soft demon. Shit. You know? Well, let's pray. No, they need to be destroyed. Jeremiah 16 and verse 1. The word of the Lord came also unto me, saying, Thou shalt not take thee a wife, neither shalt thou have sons or daughters in this place. Yep. For thus said the Lord concerning the sons and concerning the daughters that are born in this place. But guess what? The men of the Lord that do have wives and children, those uh, wives and children will be delivered. That's right. See? Just like that uh that uh that Jake that uh washed Paul's uh, uh bruises. Yep. You know, he got delivered in his house. Just like Noah's wives and his son's wives. That's right. That's See? Right. And it says, verse Jeremiah 16 and verse 3, For thus said the Lord concerning the sons and concerning the daughters that are born in this place. IUIC marriages. Yeah. That's scary, bro. Yeah. That, the Lord about to, the, the judgment's about to break those the, that happy Israelite uh, movement up. Yeah, damn right. The Lord is about to break. It's about to get ugly out here. It's about to get really bad out here. And then you're not going to be able to uh, flying sword flaming lion your way out of it it's about to get real bad keep going right, and it says and concerning their mothers that bear them so now the lord has said that the children the wives the husbands now i'm going to give you a judgment that's coming for them the family matter israelites watch keep going and it says and concerning their fathers that begat them in this land they shall die of grievous deaths and that word grievous goes into pestilence so we're actually looking for the next pestilence to come out Right. Okay, there's it's been too quiet. Something else is gonna be used soon. They're gonna use it because all you that's a perfect boogeyman to lock down. Yeah, you know what I mean? You can't see it. I don't know, it might be there. Stay inside, you know. It says verse four, and then what's he gonna give you? What's he gonna give you to counteract this this pestilence? He's gonna give you that see it that's right that they already approved in 2004. Right. They already approved it. Yeah. So the MOTB has already been approved. You said you said pestles, right? And, and, and of that CHIP, it can store your records. Exactly. You know what I'm talking exactly. about. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So on a mass scale and so it could track you. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't want it to spread. Yeah. And they and, and they did this show over 20 years ago. Yep. Right? Come on. The, yeah. What scenario? Right. So one of the scenarios of the MOTB can be is going to be through a pestilence yeah okay a t attack all right a borders yeah yep contactless payments too yep, yep. there you go you could just check it. yep yeah because you because he, he needs to digitalize everything data yeah. everything needs to be put in the system yeah Th this the problem that we face collectively is the system yeah the C, where, where are you ranked in the system? License, registration, uh, identification. Yeah. You can't you can't get certain things if you don't if you have an expired ID. Yeah. You can't buy uh, alcohol yeah. if you have an expired ID and they need to scan it. Yeah. The system is in place. You know. Um. Now there's a um there's a new thing where um I think you can't fly domestically if you don't have a certain something yeah like a certain uh, id yeah something like that yeah, yeah they're changing it yep yep see um, <laughs> before the end of the day, yep they said if you don't have it's like a special license that you can get enhanced yep like and an enhanced ID yep yeah it yeah. allows you to go in federal buildings and things uh, like see that. oh shit. so see Damn. so now they're what they're doing is they're tightening the restrictions to be on the grid yeah. to be on the grid to the actual definition of being on the grid is utilities water heat yeah. things of that nature that's on the grid when you're off the grid you now are providing your own uh heat water and shelter so for you to stay on this grid there's certain requirements that he's going to require people to do like how kuwait had oh, yeah. a deadline where you had to biometrically uh, register to have this bank account. Yep. Damn. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can't fly without a real you ID. Yeah. No, just a just a word. Oh, just a word, brother. Yep. All right, man. Yep. Yeah. 
Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, what what prophecy comes to mind? He should desire to go into a city, but he but he won't be able to. Right. And you know, you know, it shows that the movie in time. See. If, if you didn't have enough amount of time, yep. you know, you couldn't get past that checkpoint. Yep. Uh, back in Jeremiah 16 and 4, they shall die of grievous deaths. Jake. They shall not be lamented. Nobody ain't gonna be crying for them either. Because everybody's gonna be running like Childish Gambino right. <laughs> in the end of This Is America. Right. Go watch This Is America and then watch how he encapsul encapsulated that spirit of fear. Yeah. You know, he really had a spirit of fear. Yeah. That's what's coming, yeah. man. Judgment is coming. That's right. Judgment's coming. What'd he say? He's coming. Yeah. Thanos. Yeah. He's coming, he's coming. And it says, neither shall they be buried, right? Because it says that bodies shall be like dung upon the earth, you know? And then Esau has protocols for those bodies. They're called coffin liners. Oh, say right here. Oh, shit. Where right. he could put uh, five, five of, of them in one. Yeah. Then he's got eater robots. Yeah. Bro, I'm telling you, man, you're gonna, people are gonna be like, where the hell did this technology come from? Yeah. It's been here. Yeah, and, and there's been clips of Esau showing us, but it's been like specs from here and there, you know, but Jake is so simple, they you know, they don't see that. No. Nope. All they see is the damn election. Well, Esau's oh. getting ready. The militia's getting ready right now. Yeah. While Jake's playing, Esau's uh, spraying, you know? He's uh, checking the guns, reloading, yep. practicing, stocking. He's getting ready. Yep. And, and then Jake's out here surviving off Cheetos yeah. and, and uh, juice. <laughs> Their body is not ready to sustain itself off that kind of diet alone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. bro. Oh, yeah. He's like, yo, I got all the ammo. They yeah, of course, because the children of this world are wiser than the children of light. Right. We're the children of light. Yeah. But Jake right now is in gross darkness. Yeah. So he's he's looking at this presidential election to heal the black community to still be at the level it's been for over 30 years. Oh, man. You know, Jake has got a demon on him to think now it's my opportunity. Yeah. Now I can go to the league. <laughs> now I can be the next serious yeah you know they're trying to reinvent the, the wheel of the 90s yeah no like the one time we was over there in that park we was uh, uh camping that jake came up i forgot his name but he gave us his car because he's like a, like running yep. for mayor or some yep. shit yep you know that's not gonna fix nothing no nope. prophecy is how was shy you you know? had that comedian red uh trying to run for uh gov mayor or something of oh, dc yeah. you know Man. the comedy yeah you know the big ass gap Ar arctic chucky <laughs> yeah and he uh, walked by the brothers. And he's like, bro, it ain't happening for you. But he had that whole spirit on him. Right. Hey, uh, like, nigga, we've seen you for, you know how I many years we've seen your old nigga ass? Right, movies and shit. And now you trying to walk up like Dale? Hey, you know, <laughs> all right. Nigga, this ain't a Mentos commercial. See? But that proves that's, that's part of the image. Exactly. To be uh, PC, politically yeah. correct. And everyone's drunk, okay? What you're finding out now, brothers, is who's drunk around you. Yeah. Who's drunk around you? Oh, your ass is drunk. Yeah. Kamala is showcasing the drunkness. Yeah. Drunk, drunkness. So now you're all these people that are investing politically are drunk. Yeah. You th like, I'm hearing all this vote for me, and I'm thinking to myself, with everything you're saying, why hasn't no one fixed what you're saying you're gonna fix if you get in office, but they haven't. Right. This shit's been it's been going down, bruh. Like, why why hasn't nobody fixed this yet? So for you to still believe in voting and politics, you are drunk. Yeah. You shouldn't be driving. Put the knife down. Yeah. For real. These people are drunk off their ass. Keep going. And it's back in Jeremiah 16 and 4. Drunk with the wine of Babylon. And it says, but neither shall they be buried. And then they want you to drink with them. Oh, yeah. Who, who you vote oh, you for? Voting for? I remember one, I, which I shouldn't have said it. It's like a couple years ago. He said, who are you voting for? Some chick asked me. I said, You'll learn that. And I, and yeah, You'll learn I learned that. that. And, she was, and I said, I'm not voting. She got so upset that I yep. wasn't voting. She said, why are you not voting? Your vote can matter. It can change. Someone told, see? Someone <laughs> told me, uh, you're going to vote for Trump. I was like, bitch, I don't even like Trump. But that's the demons right. on these people. Yeah. They got spirits on them, man. Yeah. They're drunk.
And it says. And they want you drunk too, brother. Yeah. Eve yeah. wants to get you to drink. Yeah. Drink this. Come on, baby. Drink it. Yeah, take a little sip. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to go. You take a sip. I take a sip. Hey, yo. No. Hell no. No. Like I say, don't drink the Kool Aid. Yeah. And who was who who uh what was that one um Jim Jones Jim Jones who was did it who were all the women Eve yep all it was all them black women that drank the juice on uh fucking uh what's his Jim Jones Jim Jones the black Kool Aid yep they huh? drank the Kool Aid <laughs> and it says so they're gonna have their kids drink it damn right but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth so then what happens judgment damn the Lord's got to bring judgment. And they shall be consumed by the sword. There it is. That's Jacob's Ooh. trouble. There's something that's gonna happen. That's Man. gonna that's gonna shift Man. the reaction to um, the general public. Something's gonna happen where it's just gonna change. Yeah. You know, like when that you watch that short Netflix movie. It's 30 minutes. It's called uh, what the hell is it called? Two Distant Strangers. Yeah, with Joy Badass. Yeah, yeah. That oh, that's that's the Jake. The rapper, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Where he keeps waking up. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. keeps waking up, and the Edomite cop keeps killing him. Yeah. yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. That shit was real. Yeah. And what it, what I what I realized what they were doing was showing uh, a different scenario how Esau kills Jake. Yeah, yeah. That's what he was. He kept repeatedly. You gotta watch it. Yeah. It's on Netflix. But what it's showing you is that's the energy that Jake is going to receive in the trouble to come. Right. If you are not of the elect, you will receive one of those kind of scenarios. That's right. And right here it says, by the sword, that's one scenario, and by famine. That's another scenario. And their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven. Damn. Damn. And for the beasts of the earth. Damn. For thus said the Lord, enter not into the house of mourning, now they go to lament for bemoan them. Wow. Excuse me, nor bemoan them. So we're not gonna uh be we're not gonna be crying for them. Yeah. You're not gonna see a Jake and Jacob's trouble and then and then feel sorrow. You cause you're fully understanding this is the judgment that the Lord said he was gonna bring. You see? And it says so, so if you're in that like black Christian love, what's up, spirit? You're not ready. You know? We're happy, man. But we also have been opened up to the reality of what's to, to come for this place. Yeah. Keeps you sober. Keeps you sober. And it says. Well, everyone's trying to get you drunk. Oh, yeah. Everyone wants you drunk, bro. Yeah. You go to. You, yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> you go to. Um, yep. You go to work and it's Halloween. They'll try to talk you into wearing a costume. Yep. Put this Christmas hat on, man. Come yep. on. Be in the Christmas spirit. Yep. No, man. Yep. And I tell everyone I'm native. Yeah. Mind you, you got Gad fully invested in Babylon, yeah. but I use that because I grew up with Gad. Yeah. So I use that as my excuse and my walk. Yeah. No, I'm native, bro. I don't, I don't do that shit. And you saying that it's a stigma that, that comes with that because people people know about what happened to Gad exactly. and Judah. Exactly. You know? And it says, uh, verse Jeremiah 16 to 5, for I have taken away my peace from this people. See, but the Lord said, but the, but come to mind that peace is for you. Right. So yeah. we got peace coming for us. Right. Okay. It says, uh, from this people saying, saying, said the Lord, even loving kindness and mercy. Mm, that's beautiful. And now we see that peace and mercy through who? The father of peace that was prophesied in Isaiah the ninth chapter. That's right. Being Yahweh Shai. Can you matter of fact get that? Because all today we've been going into the house of David, judgment. And uh, Yahweh Shai and the government. That's right. Isaiah 9 and 6, please. Because mm. we are being reminded. Yeah. You know, because you don't want to ever feel like, oh, I'm through. Right. No, you're not through. Who said you were through? Who told you that? Who right. said Who said you was going to die? You got it, brother? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 6. For unto us as a child is born. He gave his, watch. He gave his only begotten son. Keep going. Unto us a son is given. For God so loved the world. He, Yahweh Shai is, in John 3, 16, Yahweh Shai is quoting Isaiah 9. Right. He's literally quoting Isaiah 9. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. For God so loved the world. The world world in John 3, 16 and 9 is cosmos, which means a harmonious arrangement uh, or uh, a government. So Yahweh Shai said government in John 3 and 16. 
But now Esau took that and said, we are the world. Right, right. We are the future. See? And we didn't see that. You know? Keep going. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. peace. There it is. See? Oh. There's that peace that we have now. There's that peace that the Lord told for Jeremiah. The peace is Yahweh Shai. Because that's what's gonna cover us when the, that death angel comes again. Yeah. Right? Aren't we in Egypt again? Yeah. Didn't say it would pass over Jerusalem yes. and defend it. That's right. See, so it's gonna pass over and defend us. What is that, um, Isaiah? Yeah, uh, Isaiah 20, 21. What is it? Let's get that real quick. Right. Passing over. Uh, we'll keep going this real quick. Yeah. Back in Jeremiah 16 and verse 6, it says, Both the great and the small shall die in this land. Damn. Right, you know, man, woman, and child. That's why it says in Ezekiel 9 and, oh, 9 and 5, it says, A spirit now old and young, you know? Real quick. Isaiah 31 and oh, 5, 30, yeah, I knew it was one of them. Yeah. As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. So who's Jerusalem? The house of David. Right. The, uh, as in the days of old. Right. So Jerusalem can also be equated to the house of David. It says defending, so that means the Lord's going to fight for us. Right. Remember, there's a great sky battle coming too. Um, it says um, uh, uh, the angel... In Revelations 12, he yeah. made war yeah. with Michael and his angels. Yeah. And then guess what? They said now every empire lasts about 250 years. Yep. Esau has one year, America has one year left to to uh till it hits 250. Oh shit. So we're at 249 years right Man. now. He knows he has but a short time. So hey, either way, either day, something happening. Man. But our empire, our kingdom gonna be forever. Something's oh, gonna happen. Something's getting ready to happen, oh, yeah. man. You know? Ooh. So that's why I, my spirit, I'm like, get out of my face, world. Something about to happen. Don't be letting nobody distract you to fuck up my face. Don't let no one distract you with some bullshit. Right. You know? I was watching this movie, which it was corny, but the first 10 minutes was straight. I do that. I'll watch like, I'll straight up go watch 10 minutes and then leave. Because that's all you need. I'm just here to get my right. download and I'm out. Because the rest of me bones. And the rest is bones. But I watched, uh, what the hell is it called? Uh, Generation Zombie or so? Apocalypse Z. I watched Apocalypse Z. The first five minutes is a man playing with his nephew uh, on Christmas and then him arguing with his woman about having children and then the whole world just ended. <laughs> so that what I'm getting at right. is don't let, you know what I mean? Don't let shit in front of you distract you. Yeah. You got to learn to look past. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, you right. You got to learn to look past everything. Like you said, Matrix, there is no spoon. No, there is no don't, spoon. Don't let the shit in Babylon that's tangible and don't let that shit, you know, blind you of prophecy. You know, you know, the, the whole image of, of, of America, that shit is, is vain, you know? We got, we got prophecy coming. Don't let that family man spirit get you, you know? Mm-hmm. Or, or even the, uh, the American dream. Yeah. You know? you know, the American dream gets you. Yeah. He said, Just like yep. Jake that, that's in the basketball, they call it hoop dreams. Yep. And that's all they worried about is hooping. Yep. And making it to the league. Yep. But the world get in before he gets to the NBA. Yep. On the day you were supposed to try <laughs> out. Right. You know? Because Jake is running to a party that's over. Mm -hmm. He's still running and getting ready for a party that's over. Mm -hmm. It's the chase that gets you. Back in Jeremiah 16 and verse 6. It says, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep. Yeah. Isaiah 31 and 5. This is talking about chariots. This is talking about so called UFOs. The military government coined them as food fighters in the, uh, the Second World's War, if I'm not mistaken. All right. And then he just gave you a little punk ass band to cover it up. Yeah. That's what Esau do. Anytime there's something real, he'll rename it with some bullshit, man. Yeah. Literally, he renamed stuff. Now you can't find it. Yeah. You know? Like Pikmin. Right. For example. Well, even like um, like uh, you'll have coin terms or rock bands get the name or a movie. Yeah. And then he yeah. changes it on you. Now you can't find that movie. Yeah. Um, as birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. So that means why does Jerusalem need to be defended? Uh, Daniel's 12, Michael's will stand up for the people because we're going to be under attack. Defending 
also he will deliver it and passing over. See, that will, that's why Jeremiah says the new Passover. That's right. We're getting ready to enter a new Passover, brothers. Right, get there. Yes, please. It says, and passing over, he will preserve it. Right. So how will we get, uh, how will the judgment pass over us? It's because it's the blood of Yahweh Shai right. that was symbolic as the blood of the lamb when we were in literal Egypt, but now we're in spiritual Egypt. Mm -hmm. So now we got the spiritual blood. Come on now. Remember, it's about to get Demon Knight out here. You ever see the movie Demon Knight? Hell yeah. And then they use the, the blood to block the demons out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. They literally were pouring Yahweh Shai's blood out to seal them in. Yeah, which is amazing. Huh? Demon Knight. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good one though. It's like Tales of the Crypt. Yeah. It's a good movie. Mm -hmm. Jada Pink is in it. This is uh, Jeremiah uh, 16 and verse 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord. We're reading truth. Yeah. Does anyone understand that? While you're in the land of lies, we've been allowed to read truth. Man. We don't have to, we don't got to uh, be, um, uh, what's the word? Spectacle? What's the, uh, like a skeptic? Uh, yeah. yeah skept like we're not skeptical. Skepti yeah, skeptical. Yeah. We actually can read the ingredients and it's true. Mm -hmm. It's not fucking red 40 or sodium bicarbonate. Like yeah. it's actually real. We're, we found something that's real while everything else is alive. You know? We don't know if that's a man or a woman. I don't fucking know. What is that? You don't know. Everything is out here is questionable. Uh, everything you gotta hold your guard up to. Watch out. Yeah. Yeah, we cool. You gotta watch your, you don't gotta watch your back in that. This is telling you what's coming for you. It's holding you, it's helping you, it's keeping you. It's the comforter. Right. We're comforted, man. Well, everybody else is just feeling the, the, the pain right yeah. now. Here comes the pain. We're comforted, man. We don't, we don't, we don't, this is why I said to heal the brokenhearted. That's right. We don't gotta feel like, are you gonna, you gonna hurt me too? Right. We don't gotta feel that no more. Everywhere else we feel that shit. Right here we feel love, mercy, tenderness, hope, family, health, peace, safety. Rest with us. Out here is death. I walked through the valley of the shadow of death, but now we found the God of the living and we're alive now. Keep going. And it says, of, excuse me, Jeremiah 16 and 14. Therefore behold the days come, said the Lord. So the days are coming. We're waiting for, oh, we're, yeah. all we're doing is waiting, brothers. We're just waiting. We're waiting on the world to change. Right. We're waiting. There's a power in waiting. Waiting shows so many beautiful characteristics of a person, you know? Mm -hmm. Shows that they're faithful, they're patient, they're invested, they're loyal. You can trust them because they're waiting. That's right. We're waiting. And it says. You got women that came and wait for their man to come home. Yeah. It says that it shall no more be said the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. So now this, the first law was a, we were given was a high holy day. Remember we were reading Exodus 12? Yeah. So now Exodus 12 is going to change. Now this is going to replace that. This is going to replace uh, that first Passover. Yeah, we're a false prophet. That's right. First in the Bible, brother. That's right. Mm -hmm. Keep Hatred going. Hatred is false prophet. <laughs> But it says, hey, evil, though. Nope, no one said that. I said, no, no, I, I said, it says, hey, evil. You said you were evil because you're white. You're not white. Nobody said that. So don't bear false witness on me. Huh? I got to know you. I don't know. I don't know you. I don't know you, though. Right. You are a person on this earth. I'm a person on this earth, but there's people on this earth that God doesn't love. I'm not. I not, never said nothing about hate towards you. I don't look at. I don't look at you no, and hate you. I, I don't know you personally. I'm right. Sorry. Yeah, that's fine. I'm sorry. That's. You know what? I appreciate that. Thank I'm you. Sorry. No, I'm we don't personally hate Ashford, you. Ashford, 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 like, yep. Like, oh yeah. Like, like, like the white man's the devil. And yep. Else. Yep. That's. I'm white, dude. I was born. I don't fuck yeah, about born. Exactly. Exactly. But you know, it's not about skin color. It's about the spirit. It's about the heart. So just because you may look so-called white, that doesn't mean that you are a devil. It's all good, brother. You have a good one, okay? You be safe. Right. Read that again. Yep. Back in Jeremiah 16 and 15, it says, But the Lord liveth, 
that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. So we're here what? In, in the north country. Right here. We're in what? North America. You see that? Right here, man. There you go. Yep. And this north country is also the ends of the earth yep. where Yahweh Shai said he'd be with us. That's right. And we don't know if uh, who just walked by is a Jake. Right. What did he just say? He just said, I'm sorry. Only a Jake would do that. Yeah. And then he said the guys in purple told him that he was an Edomite. You know? How you know that that's an Edomite? Come on. He said, because he said, uh, you hate me because I'm I, right. Did I say that? No. Nope. No. 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 But then he came up and did what? He said, I'm sorry then. You're right. If that was an Edomite, I'm going to be honest, if that was an Edomite, the demon would have stayed on him. Yeah. But he what? He humbled down. Mm -hmm. So that possibly could have been a Jake, bro. Yeah. He's all jacked up and through. He's vagabond. Yeah. Walking up and down, you know? So that potentially was an Israelite that went to across IUIC, and IUIC told him he was a, de a devil because he was white. Come on, man. And it says, um, verse, uh, verse... That's why it said, you brought that priest up out. Uh, the Lord anointed me to preach uh, the, the gospel. That's right. See? To the poor. To the poor. To the brokenhearted. Yeah. He's damn near about to cry. Yeah. You see that? So I, I think that was a Jake. Yeah. I think yeah, that yeah. was a Jake. But that right there was a that's a testimony. Yeah, man. And I hope I hope y'all at home heard him say that. The guys in the purple told me I'm a devil, man. See? Come on, man. And what the spirit been getting on IUIC all day, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. So it ain't us. Yeah. Don't think it's me. You know, don't think it's like. No, IUIC didn't call me back, so now I'm, I got a vendetta. No, we're being moved through the Holy Spirit to speak and say and point and talk and bring up information. And certain things we say is casting a net out and certain fish are being attracted to that spiritual net. Right. So he was set up to come up here to, uh, to, to show you that IUIC is off. Yep, we're a witness. It's a witness. Right. right. Like when in that movie, uh, um, Tales from the Hood, Crazy K, all the dead people yeah. he killed. All the, yeah, yeah. So yeah. imagine all the Jakes that IUIC has spiritually killed yep. because of their color or their status with the law. Right. You got fucking blood on your hands, yep. bro. That's why he said, be aware of false prophets. Right. I was watching them. They had me going on. See? Oh, wow. See? But the, but the Yahweh Shai said, my sheep hear my voice. That's right. Because guess what, brother? When I first was coming in, I was going to ISPK. Yeah. That should still got me. I'm vexed because of that. Like, right. Yeah. yeah. So you should be. You should be. Yeah. You should be vexed. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, like, yep. yeah, they're wrong. Yeah. They're actually ruining homes. Yeah. They're actually ruining. IUIC is actually ruining lives. People have walked through those doors and then never left. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying that's what that organization does, but because of your vetting system and who you allow in, you allowed someone in that murdered someone that you also allowed in. Yeah. That's why I got a wife today. See? see. Because of him. Ah. That's what I'm like, it's not that. It's no, the, we know, we know, we know. That, it's the fact that. They pushed that vibration. Exactly. Yeah. So you were like, shit, I need to get me a, a, a sister. Right, right. See? And I thought I had to bring her in. Wow. wow. See? That's why. Man, yeah, that's see? heavy, bro. That's a heavy testimony. Man. See, brother? That's a heavy testimony. Yeah. So, the right. water y'all smell right. shy for pulling you away from that. Yeah, for real, man. You know? Well, that's why it says, ye are your father the devil. Damn. Because he saw, he uses Jake, you know, he, he deceives them and stabs him in the back. What well, that's well, why, you know? I'm sorry. That's why YC does. They bring you in just to make you worse, man. Malcolm X said they hire, uh, they hire one of us to kill one of, one of us to blame one of us. Man. See that? Keep going. Jeremiah. That's, that's, that's the Lord. The Lord wants. Yeah. Uh, uh, Yahweh Shai wants it all brought out. You know yeah. what's heavy? I wanted to start today's camp with Ezekiel 34, oh, which wow. is against the wicked shepherds. Wow. So if that man to be an Israelite, he's walking up and down the street being condemned because of his skin. He said, I was born like that. Wow. Man. You know? Isaiah 16 and 15. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. Right. North America. Uh, the spiritual Egypt, okay, Babylon. We're in Babylon. You just, I just watched this movie called Escape Plan, where he's in a prison that he has to escape, and the prison is called Babylon. Oh yeah. So yep. we now, and 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 he escaped uh, one of them, and the only thing he left was the Bible. Oh, so they're yeah. showing yep. you that we now have the escape plan. That's right. We we now can escape right. Babylon. That's why Yahweh Shai was cursing them out like. Why are you trying to put him back in bonds? Right. And then James rose up and said, hey, 
Our fathers couldn't even handle this. Why are we going to put bonds on these new right. believers? Right. You know? Come on, man. That's why I, tell, I don't hate you. Right. But at the same time, you can't just expect me to say I love you. Right. You know? It's, it says, uh, it says, uh, what's that? It says, uh, you got to, like, try to spare first. Exactly. But then you we know? did. Yeah. And what did he do? He said, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Esau don't say sorry. Esau don't take accountability. Mm -hmm. There's certain characteristics that we have as a people. Okay? Mm -hmm. And it says, and from all the lands, whether he had driven them. Yep, which is the captivities. And I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. So we're getting ready to be brought back to our land. That's right. And we're going to witness a rebuilding. We're going to watch and partake in the restoration. Let's go to Isaiah 60, please. Yes. This Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1. Like the elder Ariella said, uh, going in the Bible is fun. It is fun. It's fun. You know? It's a history book, man. Yeah. This is amazing. It's a, it's a reality book. It's yeah. a book of answers. Yeah, man. It's given us all the information we need. You know? Man. It's our records. Isaiah chapter 16, verse 1. Right at the top. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. L uh, light, shine, illuminated. That's right. Lucifer, light bearer on the right hand side. That's right. See? Because you got good and you got evil. So you have Esau who's bearing the light right now on the left hand side. That's why he equates himself to the number 13 for Lucifer. Right. And Lucifer and his Lucifer is Satan. His light bearer is Satan. Yeah. For behold, we're gonna get find out in the kingdom that, and I speak as a man, we're gonna find out in the kingdom how uh how basically Satan had to tell Esau something for him to believe to create that MOTB. Right. Because right. when you go into Exodus, there is a law on a, a matter or a procedure you do to have a slave for life, and it's called an all. And you put the all through their 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 body, their ear. Yeah. So we're gonna find out. Es uh, Satan came down to be a lying spirit to have Esau create that to create that. You know, oh, yeah. like how the Lord said, "I make it the uh, the Smith to blow at the coals." Yeah, yeah. He made Esau create fat man and little boy. You know. Mm -hmm. And it says, "For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth." And what's that darkness? The wine of Babylon. Yeah. The nations have drank of the wine and have gone mad. Yeah. They're bugged out. They're, so ignorant. They're crazy. Yeah. They're foolish. They're dumb. They're drunk. Man. Damn. What's wrong with him? He's just drunk. He's drunk. And gross darkness, the people. Yep. And you said gross darkness. And Jake's in gross darkness. Jake's in gross darkness right now. That's why you got to leave Jake alone. Don't debate him. You know? <laughs> Don't sit there and. Let's sit down. Mm -mm. No. Yeah, man. It says, the, but the Lord shall rise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. So we're in glory season. That's right. We're in the season of glory, glorification. We're in the season of reaping what we've been sowing. Mm -hmm. And we're going to, we're going to, we're going to, oh my goodness. Because listen, brothers, my brothers, listen. Think right now, you right now with this mind, this conscious, you're getting ready to process the kingdom through this consciousness. That's right. You're going to be in the kingdom under the same sun that's shining right now. That's right. You're going to be in a kingdom with the same moon that we go to to understand when the Sabbath is coming in. This mind, this mind you got. Now, of course, it's going to change, but the consciousness of you, me, oh, I'm me, mm -hmm. is still going to be there. Okay? You're getting ready to, like when Neo went from the Matrix to out of it. You see? Yeah. So we're getting ready to be pulled out of the, the, the Matrix and put into our kingdom. See? Yep. Exactly. Like that movie, uh, Lucy. Exactly. But with this consciousness now. Right. 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 Man. Right. With, with what you've experienced now, this life, you're going to have that brain, but on a higher scale. Oh, it says that we're gonna uh, be uh, like uh, terrestrial, basically. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Celestial and terrestrial. Mm -hmm. Meaning spirit and flesh, on the full scale. Man. Uh, sliders all the way up. Damn. You know? We're gonna rake the sliders, man. Yep. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> man. 
And it says, verse uh, 3, And the Gentiles shall come to thy light. Yep. Right there is like foreigners. Yep. And kings to the brightness of thy rising. Then you also got uh, the Gentiles of the other nations, Isaiah 2. Yeah. Where they're going to have to learn from us. That's right. Okay? Because you got to think about it. When the third woe takes place, the whole entire earth is going to have to try they're going to try to have to survive after a nuclear blast so the, the man can't be rebuild that so when the elect comes down with this this uh uh this uh new mm. knowledge we're going to be the saviors of right. the planet because man can't sustain after what's going to happen to babylon right what the hell's nato going to do in the elites in the bunkers right nothing nothing they can't they nothing they can't yeah. do nothing they're not going to be able to fix uh the land of israel right you know man you gotta think about it across the board they're gonna send something that's gonna be catastrophic and then what happens if other things get sent to them too right they're not ready for that their human body can't handle uh radiation right the human body they called the first um they called it the demon core right how they created the atomic bomb it was um platonic I don't want to talk too much into it, but they, they coined it the demon core because pretty much everyone who came in contact with it ended up dying. Yeah. Yep. That's, that, that's what he created. Yeah. He created he created death in your hands. Literally. Like literally here. If you touch it, you'll die. It's called the demon core. Literally. <laughs> Look it up. Yeah, man. And the and the vehicle that they transported that device in, the license plate said 144. Oh wow, man. See? And then the plane, the plane that took the picture when they dropped it was called Necessary Evils. <laughs> Yo. Come on, man. Yo. That's the Lord. Yes. You can't make that up, man. Man. Come on, man. Man. That's amazing. You just got to connect it. <laughs> Cross-reference. Yeah, man. You got it. And it says, oh, and like you said, how, like, how the elect, like, they're going to be able to, like, survive that radiation, mm -hmm. you know? Like, the superhero is called the, uh, the Blue Marvel. He's able to, he, he's able to, uh, survive that that nuclear like radiation and, and he's basically like a superman times 10. and he's a jake and too. he's a jake yeah and he's, he's a jake, jake. And, and his name was adam yeah. so that's spiritual man so you know they got that come on and it says verse four lift up thine eyes round about and see we're gonna look we're gonna look around keep going all they gather themselves together see they come to thee thy sons shall come from uh, from far so this is what is it post because pre's before, right? Yeah, pre's before. Post. So po this is yeah. post-prophecy. Yeah. This is post-MOTB. This is post-World War III. <laughs> this is this is post-Revelations 15. Yup. Hell yeah. Okay? That's right. We're, we're taking a look into the futures. Walk with us, brothers. Come walk with us. You know? And it says, Thy sons shall come from far, Man. and thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side. Sons and daughters. Keep going. Then shalt thou see and flow together, and thine heart shall fear and be enlarged. Whoa! You remember, brother? <laughs> hey, you remember uh, uh, Chris Tucker in Rush Hour 2? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, let me just, you know, we're funny, but in the, in the same breath, like, it's going to be an overwhelming joy of finally rest. Yeah. Okay? Rest. Yeah. Righteousness. <laughs> Righteousness, rest, and we're going to finally be able to let our guard down. Ah. <sighs> Man. Family, home, ours. Esau not ruling over us. No more rent. No more rent. I be wanting to take the money order, crinkle it up, and there. Right. Take your shit, Alice. You know, because <laughs> we're under hell. You know what I mean? They don't got no problem. You could be evicted. They got no problem just kicking you out, yep. tossing you to the side. I don't care. Don't even ask how your day was. I said that one time. I cut some bill collector. They said, son of me, I said, why don't you ask me how my day was first? Oh, I'm sorry. Right. Sorry, Mr. Gabar. How are you dead? I was walking into the city, the city of Rochester to go pay my water bill. Yeah. And the J2 on the offices, they they got to check me on that. They like, they like, they like, what you here for? I said, go to pay a bill. Right. He said, damn, brother, you said, gotta go pay a bill. Like, yeah. I'm like, shit, this is my last 80 years. Right, shit. exactly. Like, and then you go to the, to the window, and the bitch got the attitude. Always. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Always got an attitude. That's the that's what the Israelite man. man deals with 
unless he's got face tats, dreads, or yep. bent over. Yep. Or a basketball. Or a simp. Or a microphone. Yeah, man. That's what the Israelite man of the Lord deals with when, when it comes to obeying the obligations of Babylon. And then if you, if you, if you say something out of the way, she's going to call him and escort you and put you yep. in yep. jail. Yep. 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 And she's the one with an attitude. And then exactly. you'll have Jake woman on the customer service line of child support getting an attitude with you because yep. you miss payments. Come on, man. We're over that. Let's get yeah. back to the kingdom. Yeah, yeah. Back to the kingdom. And it says. Because the Lord is healing us. And it's, we're, we're not hurt. We're healing. Right. Straight up. And it says, be, because the abundance of the sea, excuse me, uh, Isaiah 16, verse 5, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. So the, the abundance of the sea is going to be converted unto us. Okay? So people are going to have a spirit. Remember how yeah. they would run after Michael or the Beatles? Yeah. Oh, my God. I just I love him. Yeah. They're going to, they're going to, people are going to be drawn man. to the Israelite men. They're going to be drawn to the, to the future leaders of the, the world, man. Man. Okay? Their spirit is going to be drawn to you. You're going to you're gonna feel love, brothers. Yes. And it ain't because you dribble the ball. It, it ain't because you're popular on YouTube. It's because you serve the Lord. That's right. Because you're of the elect. You know what I mean? Israelites that receive love right now, deep down, uh, know it's only because they dunked it. Yeah. Or they rapped it, you know, or they danced it, or they sung it. And it ain't because of just them. It's their stage name. Yeah. We're about to receive. Uh, uh, an, immer an immersed amount of, of blessings because we're serving you. How about Shimei was shy? That's right. Not because of Esau in a contract with death. That's right, man. And it says the forces, the forces of the Gentiles, the goods, everything, mm. frankincense in water daily. Oof. Drinking frankincense water. Man. New bodies. You know, no man. more pain. Right. And it says. Shall, shall come unto thee. Yep, come unto you. Man. You ain't gonna be like, oh, I don't think this was meant. No, this was meant for you. Right. Specifically you. And you ain't gonna have to ask for it because it's already gonna be there. Right. It says, the multitude of camels mm. shall cover thee. Uh, the drum, uh, the drum deries of Midian and Ephah, all they from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and incense. Bullion. Right, bullion. That's what they call that. What do you call silver and gold right now? That's in ounces or grams. They call it bullion. So, so we're gonna get bullion, okay? We about to receive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, brothers? It's about to get yeah. beautiful. No more glasses. No more pain. No more oh. Mary J. Blige songs. It says that. You know what I mean? It's gonna be happy. It's gonna be good. No more malt liquor. You know. No more processed food. Nope. No, no more barcodes. Man. No more, no more uh, uh, Esau being over us. No more curses. Man, no more curses. No more curses, man. man. No more curses. And those curses are gonna be from us unto our enemies. Yep. Starting off with Esau. Either. Yep. And it says, they shall bring gold and incense. Gold and incense? What? Man, gold. Oh, incense? Man. Good incense too. Not that shit that smells like cat. It's gonna be chunks. Yes. Chunks of resin, man. Of sap resin. Come on, man. Trees planted. Man. Frankincense. Trees planted. Man. And it says... Fields. Workers. Man. You know? Wives. Children. Land. Uh, man. We're going to be in the man. pleasure palace. You know? Man. And they shall shew forth the praises of the Lord. All the flocks of Kadar shall be gathered together unto thee. The rams of uh, uh, Nebaoth shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with the sentence on mine altar, and I will glorify the house of my glory. Yeah, we're gonna give offerings to the Lord. Yeah. Peace offerings. Thank you know. Thank you. But we don't have Woo. to. We don't have to offer a sacrifice for forgiveness no more. You know. Who are these that fly as a cloud and as the do the doves to their windows? Oh, uh, chariots. And also, we're gonna have uh, certain fields. Where uh, we don't we don't have no one touch it for like four years, and it's a law. Then on the fifth year, you you um you reap it, and then from there you've now cultivated that land for a perfect growing Ooh, process. It's right in the law. Oh, is that the uh, the land Uh, not that one. I don't know if it's in the same chapter, but 
this in particular um, growing method, mm -hmm. the Lord said, then you'll know. I can't remember how he worded, but mm. then you'll know like this is a sure harvest. Mm. So you let it uh, grow for four harvests. Then on the fifth year, that's when you reap oh, it. Okay. And what you've done is you've strengthened it. Oh. And then now it'll just constantly grow in a beautiful abundance. Man, that makes, that's, man, that's ultimate wisdom right there, man. And it says, surely, verse 9, surely the isles shall wait for me mm. and the ships of Tarshish first to bring thy sons from far. Mm. Their silver and their gold with them unto the name of the Lord thy power. Bullion. Bullion. No more corny ass dollars with um, pyramids on them. Right. Esau face on them. Yeah. You know? We're going to have our own currency. We're going to have our own society, our own. We're going to be a self governing society. We're going to be ruling the planet Earth and giving out orders. Ooh. This is how you conduct and carry yourself. And there will be lots of judgment that's gonna correct the heathens moving forward that's into right. our kingdom. That's right. That first thousand Ooh. years is gonna be a, a very strict orientation. Mm. And it says, uh, uh, unto the name of the, the Lord thy God and to the Holy One of Israel, because he hath glorified thee. And then all the heathens are gonna know that we are the children of Yahweh Shem That's right. We're the sons of Yahweh Shem Shai. No debating, no more Christians coming up to you. Right. No more disrespect, no more doubt, no more worry. Right. Complete authority. Complete authority. Complete authority. Complete. Man. Keep that, going. That, that's true word domination right there. Yep, that's true blessings. That's right. Because to truly be blessed, you got to have servants. That's right. That's right. And it says, verse 10, And the sons of, the, of strangers shall build up thy walls. So this is how we know that when it says uh, the strangers receive the gospel, that's talking about Israelites, because if that was talking about uh, the heathen, then what strangers of the heathen are going to be building up our walls then? Right. Come on, man. And it says, and, and, and you know, it's fire in the time, I think, of what is that, uh, uh, Nehemiah? Mm -hmm. In the time of Nehemiah, we Nehemiah partook in rebuilding the walls in our land. Right. So now Nehemiah is going to be in, in the kingdom Ooh. and ordering strangers to build it up right. uh salad but bitch ass yeah yeah man him yeah. and the heathen the one yeah. the same heathens um can you go to nehemiah 4 matter of fact let's quote let's say his name it's like uh like a salad but yeah like, something like yeah that. yeah man um let me see you can uh, it's uh ezra 4. oh ezra okay yeah go to ezra 4. I'll keep going. Yeah. You got it, bro. This is the book of Ezra, chapter 4, verse 1. Now when the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin heard that the children of the captivity built the temple unto the Lord. See, so the heathen heard that we were rebuilding, but it got so bad that we had to build while holding a sword in our hand which it's in the book of Nehemiah. So now, fast forward into our kingdom, the same men that partook in the rebuilding now will be ruling and making them rebuild it. Right. Oh, you wanted to, you wanted to build with us, right? Build right. that shit up, vocab. Keep going. Yeah, man. Haman. Yep, Haman. Build those gallows. Unto the, unto the Lord, our power of Israel. Then they came to Zerubbabel. Yep. And to the chief of the fathers and said unto them which we believe Zerubbabel to be King David because pretty much Zerubbabel had that same office how the Lord was dealing with King David because it told Zerubbabel he'd be as his signet ring yeah, yeah which a king when he gives you a signet ring he's giving you the stamp of approval right so now you are as that king right. and to the chief of the fathers and said unto them let us build with you. So the heathen said, let us build with you. Watch. Keep going. For we seek our power as ye do. And we do sacrifices unto him since the days of Ashadon, king of Ashur, which brought us up hither. Keep going. For Zerubbabel and Jeshua and the rest of the chief and the fathers of Israel said unto them, Ye have nothing to do with us to build an house and unto our God. 
But we ourselves together were built unto the Lord, Yahweh of Israel, as King Cyrus, the king of Persia, has commanded us. So look at that. So back in the time of the Persian Empire, when prophecy got fulfilled for us to rebuild, the heathen so-called wanted to build with us, but he said, no, you don't got no dealings with us. Now, fast forward and past that to this prophecy, now they'll be the, the, the sole providers of rebuilding our uh, uh, walls. So that's beautiful. So back in Isaiah. Yep. Back in Isaiah 60 and verse. Since you want to be with us so bad. So the, the Gentiles integrating, right? Yeah. Now you're going to see what the, you get to do as the Gentiles to integrate with us. Get your ass to work. Yeah. I found his name. It's called uh, Sandballot. Sandballot. Yeah. Yep. Is it, he was mentioning Nehemiah. Yep. Uh, Isaiah 60 and verse um, 11. Therefore thy gates... Uh, excuse me, verse 10. And the sons of strangers shall build, that, build up thy walls. Remember, you said you wanted to build. Right. You see, but you said you wanted to do that. Yeah. So now you get to. Uh, now you get to. Now you get your wish, Christian. <laughs> and their kings shall minister unto thee. Putin, put his ass to work. Right. You know? Yep. Put his ass to work. All these kings, all these people in positions of power, we, hey, like you ever see undercover boss like the ceos be in the kitchen yeah you're gonna be in the kitchen bro yep you're gonna be working you're gonna be put to work you're gonna be sweating bullets too. yeah you're gonna be working hard yep sweating bullets remembering your blessing yep and it says for in my wrath i smote thee but in my but in my favor have i made have I, excuse me but in my favor have i had mercy on thee and this is that mercy right we're reading the mercy getting ready to come to us Keep going. Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. No more ring cameras. Right. Right? No they, more porch pirates. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so it's going to be uh, Uber Eats and DoorDash on steroids. We're going to get a righteous Uber Eats, bro. It's going to be a righteous DoorDash. Right. It's going to be righteous Amazon deliveries. Right? Yeah. Keep going. And it says, uh, they shall not be shut day nor night that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles. So we're gonna have Ooh. the best. Constantly. Yes. Man. We are gonna get that, okay? Very, very soon. Man. And it says, and that their kings may be brought for the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. There it is. Damn. So now we have an insight of what's to come for us in the kingdom and the relationship of us with the inhabitants of the earth or i.e. the Gentiles, the heathen, the mortals of the people. And because we're going to be immortal, all of us, right. we're going to see people continually come back on earth, growing old, dying and being reborn, you know? But right here is an insight of what the Lord promised to his people. Mm. And now we're in a generation to receive that promise. They that follow me in the regeneration. Right. So sit on the throne. See? That's right. So, um, Lord's will, you brothers and you few sisters, was edified through the spirit as we were. And we just want to say, call oh, Allah. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone that do group well. Peace and salutations to the Lord's elect. With that being said, shalom. shalom.